When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewellery Maker hobby. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewellery Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. How excited are we today? Good morning, good morning. I'm Jenny Cleary. I'm going to be joining you alongside the wonderful Liz Welsh this morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Jenny. I am super excited. This morning I trotted in because you are amazing. Gemma Queer has been on the floor like this this morning. <laughs> Gemma's doing um, a workshop next door and we are so excited we got Friendly Plastic. You know this is my favourite thing in yes. the world, <laughs> full stop. And what I'm really excited about, yesterday we launched Felt, uh, it all sold out unfortunately, but actually Liz has incorporated Felt in with her Friendly Plastic as well. So if you bought it yesterday stay tuned today you're gonna to want the friendly plastic to go with amazing now the greatest thing about friendly plastic I think um, along with the felt like I said this yesterday a lot of the time when we start a new hobby when we start to incorporate new genres into our jewelry making it can be expensive yesterday's felt at 21.95 for the full starter kit was not expensive not something I considered expensive uh, the same can be said for friendly plastic if you want an inexpensive way that the kids can get involved with friendly plastic because it is as we say friendly you can make more more than just jewelry with it we are going to give you the stall to die for anybody else alongside you at that craft fair can just bow down because you are the one that is going to set that place on fire and believe me you will if you've got your felt and you've got your friendly plastic and you've got all your gorgeous jewelry you're good to go today is going to be a show not to miss we have got so many wonderful kits that have been put together by Laura they are beautiful and I think they're the most beautiful kits we've had in months um, very talented Laura's a jewelry maker herself she's bridal jewelry and you can really see this um, now uh, we have got loads in store uh, for you today. I'm going to give you some rose gold to start off with. Now we had Hannah Oxbury on a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday and Hannah Oxbury said that it's all about rose gold. It is all about rose gold at the moment. Now have a look at what I've got. Mark Smith said last week um, last, Mark Smith said yesterday Mark Smith said yesterday that um, Rose Gold was his favourite. And I think I've got, to, I've got to admit, I think it's mine too. It's just beautiful. And with these head pins, they're important, aren't they? Because when you put them through a gemstone, you've got that lovely ball of Rose Gold. Now, whatever you put this against, I want you to think about putting these up against something as gorgeous like this London Blue Colour Quartz. Isn't that stunning? With that glint of rose gold. Think about the sort of Indian summer jewelry that we're seeing out there at the moment. It's just gorgeous. Look, rose gold will go with your rose quartz, with your blue gemstones. It will warm up the frostiest of ice white quartz. Rose gold gives you that glint of expensive looking and when we have got our gems of distinction gemstones the gemstones that we want to look expensive the gemstones that we want to put on a pedestal then it's rose gold and sterling silver 
that you need if you are creating jewelry to sell on and it's bridal jewelry it's jewelry that you want to be a special gift to somebody then use expensive elements like this but we're not going to give you an expensive price tag now Liz when we are incorporating real silver real gold elements into our jewelry can we expect to offer our customers a little bit of a higher price tag will they respect that will they know that what they're getting is special would you use rose gold liz in your designs yes i would yes i would most definitely because i think it does offer that something extra and people do want that and value that you get 40 of these. Will that go a long way, Liz? Um, miles. <laughs> miles and miles. So 40 will go miles and miles. And you know what? These are the, um, the, long, the long head pins. They're 45 mil, are they? Millimeters? They're the really long ones. That makes them really versatile. It, you can make shepherd's hooks out of these yes, as well. Yes. If you've got our newer kits, you'll know that I've got this. Have I got two different sizes here? Let me have a look. Yes, they are. 40 and 45 so you've got a great variety here now you can make your own shepherd's hooks if you bought our newer kits with the different finders the 98 finders you'll see that the shepherd's hooks are designed from um from the head pin uh, design which is really hot at the moment because you get that lovely ball of gold or silver now these are solid sterling silver on with with rose gold overlay which have then been e-coated to prevent that rose gold from tarnishing so you're going to get the longevity of the rose gold your clients and customers are going to benefit from that extra added luxury we're starting this show off with a bang today don't you go anywhere open your basket with these you are getting 40 solid sterling silver with rose gold for just nine pounds under ten pounds now i want you to think about how far these are going to go i want you to think about that pair of ten pound earrings that you're going to sell which have used just two of these gorgeous head pins i want you to think about whether this is going to make a profit for you is it nine pounds and 95 pence is your price tag talking about profits and businesses the gorgeous angela edwards is going to be on facebook for you today um she's going to, i think it's between two and three but just check it out there'll be an announcement on facebook she's there to talk to you a little bit more in depth of the things that gorgeous mark was touching on yesterday things like insurance and things like that things i don't understand because i'm a bit brainless like that but go uh go on facebook and have a look angela's great at it and she knows what she's saying uh, so get yourself on Facebook I so enjoyed last night's show with Mark and it was very very busy show and so I know so many of you are tuned in if, if you do want to check that out further go and um, go and have a live chat with Angela nine pounds and 95 pence is your price tag DJG C68 is your item code all that fabulous rose gold now I don't want anyone to move a muscle we have got so much to give to you today I want to show you do you know what I've got so much today I have got the most beautiful strawberry crackle quartz that I've ever seen here on jewelry maker now have a look at these London blue topaz do you love it I am mad about London blue topaz it's my favorite of all the topaz now this Liz is giving me a big <laughs> nod do you love London blue I think topaz? it's fantastic I love that color it is just gorgeous it's midnight blue isn't yes. it but there's something exciting about yes. it there's something electrifying about it <laughs> the reason it's called London blue London blue topaz is because it's said to um, capture the excitement of a London night sky oh, yeah. um, and actually this is that I just think it's beautiful and this is London blue colored quartz isn't it fabulous? I've also got the perfect strand to go with it. I think these would make glorious rings. They are center drilled, really easy opportunities for you to put your copper wire through. Um, have you bought any of our 1.25 wire? You're gonna wanna make a ring out of that, aren't you? Look at these gorgeous gemstones. I've also got some labradorite coming up for you. These go just divinely well together yes, we look at this combination i love greys and pinks together and it's a great way of keeping it feminine over the winter time isn't it look at that labrador essence look look at that labrador essence oh it's garjuan darlings i've got black onyx look at this 
Um, now, I always think if you played Family Fortunes um, on the street, if you asked 100 people to name a black gemstone, I think your top answer would definitely be Black Onyx. What do you reckon? It'd be the one that went, deal, deal. I think we should play, play Family Fortunes here, Jewelry <laughs> Fortunes. I love that quiz, it's my favourite one. It's my favourite one, Family Fortunes. Are you partial to a bit of Family Fortunes there, Ryan Joshua? Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, with Les Dennis, <laughs> not with um, but with Vern. No. You like Les Dennis? Old yeah, school. I like. You, I'm old school as well. I like an old school quiz. Now I'm going to show you something. It's going to knock your jewellery making socks off. By the way, have a look. Oh, I need it. I need this. I love it. This is the most beautiful strawberry crackle quartz I've ever seen in my life. Full stop, capital letter. This is gorgeous. You know when you're at school, if you say full stop capital letter, you mean business. And I mean business with this one. Absolutely beautiful, amen. With the rose gold findings, oh. Fantastic. They're so pretty. They're so beautiful. Now, Liz, I'm going to give, uh, now I think so many, so many of you are creating jewellery that you sell on. So I'm going to give you, um, off the back of last night, I'm going to give you another trade pack. So I know that you're going to snap these up. You've got a hundred, well actually Laura, I think it's a hundred pairs. Because I, I'm going to try this again. I think I counted them last time. And I was like, no, there's more. I counted 50 and not like loads left over. Let me just, I'll, I'll try it now. Look at these. Right, this is a trade deal. Now, Mark said to me last night that he affords himself 30 pounds of findings every month. And that's how he, that's how he does it. He spends 30 pounds, that's his budget. Now, these are gonna stretch so far. Let me just see one. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, okay, now I've, I've got 20 there, right? That's 20. Look how many I've got left. So that's why I thought, surely there's more than 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. No, what am I doing? That's not right. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, <laughs> 10. So that's 30. Listen, there's more than, that's 30. Look how many I've got left. I reckon there's 100 pairs. Mm. Don't you? Let's try it. Two, four. Six, eight, ten. That's forty. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Right, that's fifty. That's fifty of them. Look how many. Look how many I've got left. There's probably another fifty there. So I reckon there's a hundred pairs. That's what I think. So you've got a hundred pairs, not a hundred pieces as it said there, because that would be 50 pairs, wouldn't it? Now, you have got toggle clasps coming out your ears when you get these, but this is great because if you're doing jewellery parties, how many jewellery parties have you got booked over the Christmas period? You know, if you are selling jewellery, if you're creating jewellery that you sell, Liz, is, is jewellery making a business for you? Do you sell your jewellery on? I used to, a lot. I tend to actually now make more for samples and for demonstrating and teaching. But uh, when I was making to sell, a pack like that would have been absolutely the bee's knees because you need to have a number of items that are pretty much similar and uh, people like particular findings and things. So yeah. those are perfect, absolutely perfect. And they look lovely. They are big, chunky findings, which are gorgeous. And you can make things like your um, cufflinks out of the tea bars and keep the circles um, for something else, perhaps. You, you have got value here, and that word is key, value. And if you are shopping with us as a business, value is going to be a word that you need to, to, to live by. It's gonna be one of your biggest rules, value. Are you getting value for money? I think you absolutely are when you buy a bundle like this. It's a trade deal that I'm going to give you. So you've got 100 pairs. Let's work out how much they're going to be individually, Laura, because I want you to think about how much you're going to add onto your, onto, onto your jewellery for adding findings like this. How about I give you, let's call it, what? About 20p each? I think we can live with that. I think if we went anywhere else and tried to find them for 20 p each, we'd be walking, we'd be walking around for a long time <laughs> trying to find this deal. Here is a trade show deal 
for you, ready to create your mass pieces, ready to fill up that gorgeous Christmas stall that you've got, which I know you're all working towards right now, for just £19.95, and pence, you have 100 pairs. Now, don't you think that's wonderful? JLG P71, look at the gorgeous, do you know what, I love the design of these. They're simple, they're chunky, they make your jewelry look professional, and that is one key thing is actually Liz I can see that you use toggle clasps I do often quite on your often. pieces. Yes, it's, they're very easy for people to do you know, do up and undo. Yeah. But the other thing I use toggle clasps for is for making jewel for um, earrings. So you can use the, the circle bits um, to as pendant earrings and hang things from them and ditto the, the toggle part as well. So you could do you know what I always love about um, about jewellery makers and crafters? It might be called something that doesn't necessarily mean you're no. going to play by the rules. <laughs> there are no rules in jewellery making. We like to break the rules. Let's do it. Let's use things in random places to just spice up your designs, keep them fresh. 19.95 for 100 pairs, I think, is totally fantastic. It is pretty fantastic. Definitely a stash builder, definitely a stock builder. If you bought last night, we did the stack of boxes for a very naughty price tag of 9.95. If you took advantage of that, you're going to want to fill those stacker boxes up. 1995. This is a great way of doing it. Well done to absolutely everybody. You do need to check out baskets if you want to confirm your order. You can do it on the phone lines 0806 444 or you can do it online. It's jewelrymaker.com. Now, we'll move on from that, my little lovelies. What I'm going to do is attempt to pack away a little bit and then leave the rest for someone else. <laughs> that's, what I that's how I live my life. Now, I'm going. There's so many, it's going to take such a long time to, to woo. You know I'm not as tidy. Hey, I'm not as tidy as Carol, am I? They're all going to learn this. Don't get this, you don't get this from Carol, do you, eh? No, no. God bless her. I wonder what she's doing right now. Probably got her feet up, I'd say. She's got her feet yeah. up. <laughs> she's in her pajamas still, yeah. of course she is. She's in her jams. She's in her jamas. You know what, Carol, enjoy it. Enjoy it, love, because the next 18 years you ain't going to get a lion, girlfriend. <laughs> nah. That is so true. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's worth yeah. it, Carol. It's worth it. I can't even remember the last time I had a lion. Eight o'clock is a lion, isn't it? Yes, and you've absolutely. Got That's a lion, Carol. You have a boy up at six, I tell you. <laughs> now, let's have a look. My girl lies in. In fact, I have to drag her out of bed. She does this. And you wake her up. <laughs> Mia, school. <laughs> Max is up at six. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. When are you going to feed me? When are you going to? You're like, oh, God. How old are they, Jenny? <laughs> Max is eight and Mia's 11. She's not 12 until the uh -huh. day before she goes back to school. So she goes back to year uh, eight. Only, only been 12 a day. Oh, wow. Well, well when they hit teenager them, that's when you won't get them out of bed. Good. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> They can stay there. I don't think, see, though, because uh, they're so sporty, I think maybe mm. they'll have to get out of bed. And I'm going to have to drag them yeah, still out of bed. When they want to stay in bed, they stay in bed till midday and beyond if necessary. Do, how old are your kids? Mine are now 21 and 20, almost 24, but one of them. Do they live with you still? Um, sort of, on and off. <laughs> Once at at weekend, when they want their washing yeah. done, they yes. do. <laughs> I'll stay here for two days while you feed me and do my washing. <laughs> but they do. Both boys you've yes, got, haven't you? Yeah. And they can stay in bed when they want to, they can stay in bed. Yeah, they do, yeah. don't they? <laughs> they do. Boys never leave their mothers, yeah. though, do they, really? They never do. As much as you try and shake them yeah. off occasionally. Girls can't wait to go. <laughs> now let's have a look. I bet you're an amazing mum. You think so? You yeah. might have to ask can my you boys imagine about what that. Can you imagine what their bedrooms look like? I bet they've got <laughs> jewel enamel everything. <laughs> Do all enamel dartboards for the <laughs> You Welsh don't want to boys. go into their bedrooms. <laughs> no, no. A fetid pit is probably close to yeah, it. Yeah, I can imagine. I can remember what my brother's bedroom was mm. like. I don't ever want to smell that smell yeah. again. <laughs> now, anyway, let's... <laughs> fluorite. Fluorite is just wonderful, isn't it? And, and heart shapes. Sentimental jewellery is always going to be a major seller for you if you are creating jewellery to sell on. If you're creating jewellery for your friends and family, isn't it lovely to offer hearts? And fluorite tells a story because it's a gemstone you'll see in lots of your museums, you'll see in lots of the light rooms in museums because it glows. If you go to the Natural History Museum, um, then you'll see this, this gemstone in a room of rocks and gems where because it has this amazing ability to fluoresce, which is where the word fluorescent comes from fluorite because of its ability to glow it 
beams and it naturally does that under you it's wow it's a wow factor gemstone are you going to separate the colors are you going to keep them together now the great thing about strands like this for anyone who does jewelry make if you get jewelry makers block it, I do all the time. You look at things, you think, what colours go together? I get this with outfits and what shoes go with what? I have to go into my daughter's bedroom, does this go with this? No, get out, it does not look good. You know, that does not look good. Um, you know, and, uh, and I'm like, ooh, with fluorite, forget it. You don't need to worry about it because all these colours naturally go together. So that, that, uh, that, that panic that you get about putting colours together, you don't need to worry about. Now I love the shapes. It's already done for you. I love the shapes here. These look amazing as rosaries. These look great as earrings. They're wonderful charms. They're great as little christening gifts too. And you've got the gold colours in this, in both strands in fact. Now the rectangles are going to be wonderful for setting into stretchy bracelets. The rectangles are going to be beautiful for putting in earrings. They're wonderful pendants too if you are uh, thinking about wire wrapping then uh, this is definitely a strand for you now you're going to get both strands at incredible value Liz uh, because this jewel because this gemstone has that added ability to fluoresce is this something that excites you as a jewelry maker oh, absolutely I love things that give a little bit extra yeah me too yes and you can contrast with things that might be matte as well which then makes the the things that shine and shimmer uh, pop out even more that's interesting actually because sometimes fluorite can appear a little bit less glossy and and so these would look wonderful with matte gemstones i think mm -hmm. and you can really bring out the gloss by doing yes. that or matte um silver findings and things you know so you can get oh, matte yeah. beads and things what about the matte antique bronze that's that yes, always comes that would out be matte. good that yes. would look nice yes. yeah yeah i like that idea <laughs> EHG C26 is your item code. You've got 210 carats in total, and you get both strands for £12.95. You know that fluorite really is a spectacular gemstone, and hearts are your butterfly wings, hearts are your sentimental strand, aren't they? They are very feminine, they could be bridal. If you've got a bride that really wants to go a bit funky with the colours, then this is definitely a strand you're going to want in your stash now. You do need to check out baskets, but they're very popular on the phone lines, and we're busy on those phone lines this morning. So get in early and make sure you secure your order. Now, if you already know you're going to open a basket with that friendly plastic, maybe it's that you missed out on friendly plastic last time we gave it to you. I do think it's going to rock it out. We're going to give you the starter kit, a new type of starter kit today, because we're going to include the DVD with that jewel enamel. Now, we're going to do one of our first kits of the day. Well, our first kit of the day. Say that to me again, Laura, you nutbag. What did you just say? What did you say the price was going to be? You're not a lap. Is that how you do it? Is that how Carol does this? Is that how, is that how you roll? No wonder you two are always in trouble. Have a look. Look at these, these are psychedelic. I love them. Don't you think that's like totally psychedelic? It's also like um, planets. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. You know I love Star Wars. <laughs> Look. I do, I do. Planets, do, do, you, do you know why I love Star Wars? Um, when Luke's at his house and there are like four different planets. I'm like, I would love that. <laughs> I would love like loads of different moons. <laughs> That, that, uh, that excites me. Have a look. It's a bit the size of, And hovercrafts, they oh, also, hovercrafts. the hover things, oh. they excite me too. <laughs> and also, also, I do fancy stormtroopers, which I know is wrong, I know, but it, it happens. <laughs> Little odd. <laughs> oh, Laura, you fancy stormtroopers too? There is something, yeah, I always have, always have. I don't even care what they look like. I fancy them. Now have a look at these because they're amazing pendants. Look at the, so would you make a ring out of that? Like a real wow, wow factor ring? I would. I think this is such a wicked strand. I've never seen this on its own, you know. Isn't it wonderful? You know, it would lend itself really well to Art Deco style jewelry. Art Deco style? Mm, it's really what would you something... do with them, Art Deco? Well, you can make a, a really big chunky chunky neck piece with them you need to intersperse them with something else as well but there's something about the quality of those those particular stones that um, really shouts to me art deco maybe it's something to do with the color as well but the shapes in it the shape absolutely yeah. and mm. yeah do you know it, it's such a beautiful color and this look at this that's 
gorgeous. That is so 70s. Yeah. <laughs> and then look, I love that. They are like little planets, aren't they? Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely beautiful. These could make quite cool belts. Mm, they could, yes. Now you're also going to get a wonderful strand of faceted rounds. Now to me these look like aquamarine, they're amazonite. Don't they, don't they take on the colour of aquamarine? Aren't they beautiful? And then I'm going to give you blue chalcedony nuggets. I absolutely love this kit. This really does shout 20s and 30s to me. Do you know what? I, I think you're right. I really do. Kind of flapper girl yes. look. Yes, and into the Art Deco period with it. I think it's the angles in those lovely stones, but the combination of the colours and the little, the small stones are with the big ones. It just looks fantastic. I think a real winner that. I don't know why we're going so low in price, if I'm honest with you, because you still get your findings. You still get your beading pack. Here's all your findings. You've got... So is this 100 findings? You've got... That's the wrong one, Ollie Pops. Ollie Pops, it's the new one, dude. It's the new one. It's not your fault. WWGP24 is the item code. Did you get that? WWGP24 is the item code for the findings. So you've got silver findings, the new style with the donuts and the toggle clasps and all of that malarkey. You've got a meter of chain. Now the price tag, I don't want you, I don't know why we're giving you this price tag. I think Laura's do. I don't know what you're doing here. You're trying to get me fired so Carol comes back. She ain't coming back, Laura. Laura, Laura's starting the day with amazing deals. She's very chirpy, Laura. I think you're the chirpiest producer here, by the way. Have a look. Everyone else is grumpy, yeah? Have a look. And this is jewellery that's been made by Chiki Rosanna. She's so cheeky. Have a look at these earrings. How much would you pay for this kit? What do you think? This is fab. Well, okay, all right, on our prices, $21.95 would be a great price. $19.95 I'd be uncomfortable with. I'm gonna be even more uncomfortable today. That just happened and I'm gonna just floss over it. Ha la 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 la, ba ba. I'm not shouting it. There's a lot of management in the building today. I don't want to be shouting that price tag out. I think the phone lines are going to be going absolutely amazingly. Water Dream, EEG C67 is your item code. $14.95. Un. Unbelievable. You have got a 30-day money-back guarantee on absolutely everything that you buy from us here. On, I can't believe this. I just, you've got, so, let me count these. 10, you've got 10 of them. Incredibly busy on the phone lines. You do get that 30-day money-back guarantee. You can, of course, use your debit cards or your credit cards. Look at all the findings that you get. We've now gone low stock on this kit. Now, Liz isn't demonstrating kits today. She's demonstrating, yes, friendly plastic, yes. Jewel enamel, yes. yes. <laughs> you know I'm excited by that. If you don't like seeing me, seeing me excited, mute. Mute your TV sets when I go on over there because I am going to be mightily excited. <laughs> um, I got so excited yesterday by uh, Gemma Crow. I love, I, I, I keep telling everyone, friendly plastic is my new favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I am now going to fusion that with, with, um, with friendly plastic. So felt and friendly plastic mm -hmm. are my new favorite things <laughs> together, together. $14.95 is the price tag for this kit in case you uh, you want to know. It's crazy, isn't it? Ollie's now saying, imagine jewel enameling a storm or a stormtrooper turning up <laughs> with some felt flowers for me. <laughs> That's my dream. That's my dream wedding right there. Sad, so sad. I know, I know, but I was as a, I had a brother when I was growing up. Well, I've still got him now. Um, and not like I haven't got him anymore, because I have. And he used to make me sit and watch Star Wars with him. 
And I used to, I, used, I know all the words. I know all the words. I'm glad he did it. I am. Harrison Ford, I want to still marry him. He is brilliant in Star Wars. That was so well cut. Anyway, we won't talk about it because I could go on all day. <laughs> Look at these two together though. They're beautiful. Now that is the sort of jewellery I would wear. I just think it's really romantic colours together, aren't they? It's subtle and just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Oh, we've got less than 20 of these kits left. I do think they are going to sell out. Can you believe this? Madness on an actual stick, isn't it? <laughs> on a stick. Madness on a lightsaber. Uh, yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you actually. Uh, most of our kits are put together by Linda Gorgeous Sheena. Uh, well, Linda's gorgeous as well. Or the gorgeous Debbie Bulford. But you know what? You know what Laura did yesterday? She went, I'm gonna put together my own darn kits. And she's put emerald in one of them. This could get her into trouble. That is going to get her into trouble. That whole £14 thing. Um, but she's going to give you a kit with emerald in it. Right now, we're going to give you the jewel enamel starter kit. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. These gleams have been responsible for many a purple nose because <laughs> I cannot stop sniffing these things. They smell amazing. <laughs> Jewelry Maker definitely doesn't condone that you sniff things, but this smells good. Um, Gleam is also great for just rubbing over regular gemstones and making yes. them look wonderful. It's fabulous to rub over your polymer clay, so you get three pots of Gleam. Believe me, all I want to do is crack those open because they smell amazing they're also great with your paper crafts so if you are if you are somebody who likes to fusion things uh if you, because because liz is great at paper craft too um then then you'll you'll like jewel enamel and you'll like friendly plastic because you can fusion them which i think makes them even more value for money now you get um three of your Coranthus silicon moulds. Now these are invaluable. You can use any heat-proof silicon moulds. Moulds. Yeah. Uh, silicon moulds. Uh, you can use any heat-proof ones, uh, but these are put in, in for you because they are jewellery maker specific. Uh, Liz, you use these often and you create some brilliant pieces with them. Um, talk to me about the quality of these moulds. They're extremely high quality, specially made um, for this purpose, but they will work with polymer clay and friendly plastic and all sorts of other things as well. They are very heat resistant um, and they are not flimsy in any way so they don't rip and tear. Um, so they're just excellent quality moulds. Now I'm giving you the starter kit today um, right now but I am going to give you the um, I'm going to give you the goods to replenish if you've already got all of this so don't worry we've got loads coming up for you now you get the melting pot now the melting pot is great for friendly plastic you don't need it for friendly plastic but it is wonderful to use with that as well the melting pot will work uh, with other mediums too won't it Liz yes I think Debbie has been experimenting using it for baking polymer clay as yeah. well particularly if you use a little project pan as well so and I'm told that if you use a project pan you can melt chocolate and stuff in there as well I can confirm that this is true yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that an accidental piece of chocolate at all. No, it wasn't accidental. It was at all. <laughs> Chocolate? No, of no, course it wasn't accidental. Dropping um, in the pan. Anything that, anything that goes in, that melts, I think. Yes. Let's throw some chocolate in there first yeah. before we put anything <laughs> else in there. You can use it for wax as well if you want to. So, um, Candle wax and wax to wax your legs with. Really? Yeah. I've got, I, I am actually a qualified beautician, which you might not know. You may or may not know. Yes, I used to have my own, or believe, looking at me. Um, <laughs> Ollie doesn't believe. Yeah, I used to have a big beauty. I used to own a beauty parlour. Um, and then I started doing this. Isn't it funny? I owned a beauty parlour. I can wax you if you want, Laura, head to toe. <laughs> Your back and um, other things that, rem that rhyme with back. <laughs> <laughs> which we won't go into. Uh, so your melting pot is is there for you too and it, it, it goes up to a very high temperature. Yes. I don't recommend you use this for beauty purposes because um, just use one that's specific for that. It is wonderful for of course jewel enamel. It is absolutely wonderful for that and um, you're going to adore this system. If you've never seen it before we have so many new customers at the moment and I think you've started beading you might want to look through another another genre in your jewellery making. You want to spice it up a bit. If you're anything like me I always say in life keep it exciting. Keep it exciting. 
Just go on in there and try new things. Do it. And that, you know, I do that with my kids. Try it. Go on, go on. You can do it. You know, you've got to keep exciting, mm. haven't you? Well, if you don't try the new things, you just don't know Never whether know. they're going to suit you. How and boring is life exactly. if you don't try new things all the time? <laughs> you've got to do it. Mm. And yes, it, this excites me so good. much. This it's so different. You're gonna just love it. So that's not all you get. That's not all you get. Wait, Laura. You've also got Laura's like, I'm gonna bring that bread. No, wait. Yeah. It's not just that, is it? You get loads more. Wait, sorry, sorry. You get all these sparkly warklies, which are actually called Stella Flash. Stella Flash. Now these you can use in polymer clay. You can also use them in your resins, your regular yes, resins. Yes. And of course your jewel enamel. You can use this with friendly plastic too? Yes you can. Um, I tend to use the gilding flake and the mica powders more with friendly plastic. But yes you can, most, most definitely. It's also again great for paper crafts too. Mm -hmm. So uh, remember value with this kit because it's not just about jewellery uh, with jewel enamel. It is primarily about jewellery. These are great things to fusion in with your paper crafts that you might have too. Now you've got your amethyst colour, your deep gold and your ruby red and you have also got your mica powders. Now talk to me about the difference between your jewel enamel and your mica powder. Well, jewel enamels are, are the product that actually melts in the melting pot. Yeah. Mica powders are a colouring powder. Um, and you can actually use the mica powders in with your jewel enamels if you want to, or you can dust your moulds with mica powders. But you can also use your mica powders as a watercolour paint if you want to. A lovely sparkly watercolour paint. Um, it won't, you can't, when you put water with them, you can't paint onto something like jewel enamels or friendly plastic because it's Paper a water. Paper yeah? you Absolutely, any porous surface. And they're lovely sort of sparkly iridescent um, paints. I always fancied myself as a bit of a Monet. Uh. This could be good. <laughs> this could be good. So you've got, um, actually then Liz, in fact, in all seriousness, yes, this is wonderful, wonderful for joy. But there is so much that you can use within your paper mm. crafts as well. So value is key here. Value is immense here. Uh, you've got the melting pot. You've got the three moulds. You've got the Stella Flash. Three of your Gleam Waxes. You've got your... Um, You've got your mica powders and you've got your jewel enamel powders. Everything you need to get yourself started. You don't need anything else. And all for a wonderful price tag of £69.95. Pence. If you've already opened a basket, be, even though this is going to be a heavy package, are we going to charge you any more extra PMP? No, no, no. £69.95. Now, you might be wondering what it's all about, Alfie. Well, I'll tell you what it's all about. We're going to go on over. What's it all about? <laughs> uh, we're going to go on over and we're going to watch the master at work. I'm going to bring him a cup of tea because... That's the done thing, Liz. Yes. Um, now, when I saw you today, I was very excited. <laughs> I want to show everybody what can be achieved firstly with jewel enamel. And we're going to today fusion a yes. few other things together with jewel enamel. So it's very exciting. So, Liz, talk to me about which pieces have jewel enamel in. I think it's this one here. Yes, isn't that, it? that one has. That's a, a lovely little bezel with um, jewel enamels. And the jewel enamels are actually directly into the bezel. I haven't mm -hmm. poured them in. I sprinkled them in first and then heated them, heated the bezel in the pot. And that way they stay in there they rather do. than popping out yes. if you do it the other way around. And you can create more of a design, be a bit more in control of the swirls and patterns because you can keep adding bits and then just swirl them around with a toothpick or something. I find that easier. I find mm. that quite easy to do. Now look at this with the buttons. These are, that's just a sort of a, a sample of um, the range of colours of jewel enamels. I actually enamels. think this makes a great bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the colours and you can make your own buttons too. Yeah. So if you're into your haberdashery, think about making your own buttons with these. Wouldn't that be cute? The, the nice thing about that is you can actually see that the colours from what you see in the pot um, is the purple one, really purple. So it's quite different. It's deeper. It's much deeper. Fab. Yes. And actually this is great to have because if you've got customers you can say, listen, here's all the colours that I can do for you yes. in certain designs and they can pick it. This is lovely. Because they can't really see so clearly from the contents of the pot um, what colour it is going Plus, to turn out Plus if they like. don't understand it, they don't really know what that powder is no, going to exactly. do. Exactly. So this is a great idea. Yeah. Now um, we've also got some beautiful earrings made out of jewel enamel here. We've got a wonderful cuff bracelet. The little cuff bracelet is using the Elegant Lady mould as well. So, and that's the face mould. This so one just that here. one, yes, yes. 
and there's this. So that's the, the face mold that you get in with. Oh, that's the elegant, elegant lady one. Yes, that is. And then here's the face mold that you get in with your starter kit, and that's got um, gilding flake on on it as well. With gilding flake, I love that. It's very dramatic, darling. <laughs> And then, there's, is this jewel enamel yes, too? Yes, that's all jewel enamels with wow. your lava rock as well. I See, yes, I noticed that you use a lot of lava rock mm. the other day. And I thought, you know what? We need to put more lava rock in. Now, have a look. Did you buy yesterday felt? Did you see Gemma show us how to make a felt? Look at this. Isn't it amazing? Now, you've actually made your own buttons. Beads. Oh, but the buttons over there, yes, most definitely. That's using jewel enamels too. I love it. And a lot of gleams to um, enhance the colours. Can colors. you imagine these on a blazer? <laughs> They're fabulous. Is this jewel enamel too? Uh, that's friendly plastic and cloud clay. Right, we'll talk about that in a minute. Yes. Now, I'm going to give you some more bundles before we get um, demoing. I'm going to give to you, thank you, darling, um, five jewel enamel colours. So this is for anybody who's already done their jewel enamel and you want to replenish... Um, your colours or maybe you want some new colours that you haven't already got. I'm going to give you the purple sapphire, the light silver, the light pewter, pink sapphire and the fire opal. Liz, can you talk to me about how much jewellery, how many pendants I can expect to make out of these powders? Out of one pot, if you're making say a piece like um, just, just a simple um, pour from one of the moulds, so say something like that, that sort of mould. Okay. Uh, you would probably get, I don't know, about 10, 10 from Per pot? Yes, approximately. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 pendants then all together. Yes, it really does depend on the depth size. of the mould and yes, the size of it, so. Have you got these colours on? I have got some of them. Um, which one have we got? Fire Opal is this lovely orangey, orangey red. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I love that colour. <laughs> so this is the colour that Fire Opal comes out. And the pink sapphire is the very pink one. Pink sapphire. It's gorgeous colour. That is fabulous. Yes. Light uh, pewter. Is, is that a silver is it one? That I think one? It's, it's more like, it's closer to that one. It might not be. It's light silver. Uh, I think silver. I may have made, it's much closer to that. It's, it's that one, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. That's your pewter. And then I've got Boom. your light silver. Right, these are usually how much, darling? So um, four pounds a pot. Yes, is what we're hearing. And, that's and we the, are. Get, have you got pink sapphire in here? That, there we go. That's the purple sapphire, I think, isn't it? Oh, amethyst? No, that, that's around the wrong way. That's amethyst, and that's purple sapphire. That right? Okay. Yes. So purple sapphire. Normally four pounds each. So that would be 40, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. So that'd be 20 quid, yeah, wouldn't yeah. it? Which is a good, do you know what? When you think you can make 50 pendants, that is a wonderful price tag. We are gonna get to demoing very, very shortly. Right now, you need to be on the phone lines. These should be 20 pounds, which is a wonderful price tag. But today, we're gonna give you a very staggered. bargain price of 12.95. You're staggered I am that. staggered. <laughs> yes, really staggered. That's a fantastic price. Would you be on the phone knowing yes, that I you would. make so much? Could yes, you I buy would. for your students? Would this be a good deal for you to think, right, I know I've got students in, let's get this in. Yes, it's a fantastic deal. That is really excellent. I don't, I can't think of anywhere else you could get them at such a price. Can you buy these elsewhere? Can you get them online? Yes, you? you can find them online, but um, all around the four pound, four pound a pot, that's where they all are at, so. So buy <laughs> this as a bulk deal at 12 95 you're getting exceptional value. Wonderful value. Now I'm going to give to you, in just a sec, are we going to go straight and have a little look at what's, how we do this? That's what I want to do. So we're going to keep the graphics on for these and uh, we are going to, um, we're going to get going, Liz. Brilliant. Where do we start? Okay, I've got my melting pot. And it's on. How it's long on. do I need to keep it on before I can get going? About five to ten minutes. Okay. And then it's up to temperature. Okay, dokie. Okay. okay, and I've got some lovely colours here. There's an indicator light on the melting pot to tell me that I've reached temperature. There is. There? There's an on button there, one that tells you you've got it plugged, up, plugged yeah. in. And then this one tells you it's heating. And when it actually reaches its temperature, so if I just it turn it on, it goes off. So. A bit like the oven. Yes, a yeah. bit like the oven, exactly. Just remember, though, if you've never seen a melting pot before, is that the that is the hot, hot part, hot, hot. really hot. And the top temperature is about 140 degrees centigrade. So, hot, so hot. That, yes, that is hot. So it's not something I would actually do with children. 
jewel enamel. No, no. Friendly plastic, friendly yes. Plastic, yes. But not friendly jewel enamel. Yes. So when you use um, and pick up the pot, make sure you pick it up by the handles. Yes. This is a non-stick surface in there. I'm just going to move that to there. Um, and there's a spatula that comes with your kit, which has actually got stuff on it at the moment. So that comes with your starter kit. And yes, it, is it does. A, it's a special um, spatula put together for jewel enamel. Yes, it is. It's a silicon one, and all of the um, old bits of jewel enamel, which I should have cleaned just off simply first. Simply pick off. They just come I mean, off. You don't need to. That's the joy of it. Yes, is that it will just pick off. Exactly. And you've got a mat. The non-stick mat is essential as well. You can get the mat on the website. So if you want that, it's a couple of quid, isn't it, on the website? Yeah, well, it's probably a bit more than that. It's a really good value mat, though, because it's a good size um, and it's really nice and thick and strong. Okay, so okay. I highly recommend that because you're going to, you're really going to need that. Okay, so you've got the melting pot. Sorry, Liz, on oh, the wait. bottom. Yeah, hang on a minute. <laughs> you know the starter kit I just gave? I didn't have the DVD with that, but you do get the DVD, don't you? That, not on this one. We're going to give you the DVD and later. With a, uh, is that with the friendly plastic kit? Oh, that's friendly plastic. I'm <laughs> yeah. getting confused. You can get the DVD online. It's four pounds and ninety-five pence. I'm just going to put that. Make sure it's on my mat here. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I'm just going to sprinkle some in. Um, I'm going to put in a mix of colours. And this plastic spoon is just to help me. Um, put the colours in, but it's not Straight for stirring. Straight away we can see it's yes. wonderful. Absolutely. Just don't stir with that plastic spoon. Because it'll melt. Yes. <laughs> it's just for pouring purposes. Yes. Use your spatula for the old stirring. Absolutely. Just makes it easy. Very often I just pour straight from the pot, but um, I think it's much easier to control what you're doing if you just put in a little bit with using a spoon. Okay, so it doesn't shouldn't take too long to um, to melt. And we can watch that that happen. There is a lid that goes on this, and actually, yes. if you put the lid on, it's it, quicker. It is quicker, but we can't see it. Exactly, it's a bit a bit boring. <laughs> can you make your own colours? Laura's asking if you blend. Um, yes, blend you can. Them in. Yes, well, when you mix them in the pot, they they also become their own colours as well. Yeah, and you get the most fantastic fusions of colours. And sometimes when you've mixed a lot, you end up with a bit of sludge, really, because you've used every colour in the rainbow. Yeah, um, and that's when I use use it to make things like the buttons the button necklace on the end um, and then you put lots of, of your gleams on the gleam top on so it. you don't waste anything even when you've got sludge and you can and remount this can't yes you? I have a pot full of full of bits um, from previous experiments and things and I just uh, pour that's amazing <laughs> pour at the excess when I finish to pour pour it out onto the mat let it go cold and pop it in the pot or can you stamp use on it. Stamps with this then yes. I've just seen this look um, yes they're f it's really easy to use the stamps Pour it on the mat and then just place a stamp into it and let it go cold. Isn't that wonderful? I love this. And if I show you that, let me just grab that one. That over just there. looks good, <laughs> doesn't it? That's oh, that's a blobby bit that I th threw into really cold water. I poured straight from the. Can you pour it straight from here into cold in, water? Into, yes, and then you get then oh, you get those fantastic, wow. weird, wonderful shapes. But that one is using um, a stamp and gleams on the top. Oh, I love so, it. Isn't that fabulous? There. And you could just remount yeah. these if you wanted to. Yes. Putting a head pin inside so you can make yes. pendants. Yes. We're going to do that. We're going to show you those things because these are sort of simple things. For those of you that have not seen um, jewel enamels before, then I'm going to show you some very simple, straightforward things. Good. I'm I'm super excited by you <laughs> all the time. I always love. It. Now make sure that you are grabbing this deal quickly because you know what? It's going to be wonderful over the summer to start a new project, isn't it? Definitely yes. the right time to start oh, a new project. Oh yes. Because when you start a new project, you often want to experiment, don't you? <laughs> to to um, practice before you start into something proper. What have I got there? That'd be an amazing oh, yes. brooch. <laughs> I love that. What did I do to that one? I, I don't. Um, who knows? But it's amazing. <laughs> Looks like Africa. Yeah. Yes, so it does. <laughs> I, I think love I've it. Got, uh, diamond clear jewel enamels, and I've used a foil background, I think. And that I've was put amazing. Uh, lots of little inclusions in there, little sequiny things, heat heat um, tolerant sequiny bits. <laughs> When you're experimenting, you can't remember everything oh, that you no, put in. And I, you can't. It's and I true. never bother to sit and write down everything because it's just. You're too, too busy inventing. Yes. Because you think, oh, yes. I could do that. I could try that. Oh, and what about this? And on it goes, and you just um, you end up with a large pot. I, of but this is great. I could things. go through this. This is wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you about this. Well, you're running, rummaging through yes, that. I'm going to I'm tell you please, yes. about these moulds. Um, these are the, some new jewellery maker moulds. I can get these on the website. I think so. We're um, having them today. Oh, we're having them today. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. There's actually another one as well. 
um, we're going to use the cabochon one. We've got two. Oh, how lovely! They're fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Is that a cat? I think that's so. Egyptian. Yes. I'm going to experiment oh, with that. Oh, I love this. <laughs> There's some really lovely things in there, but I haven't managed to do a piece from there yet. So we'll try. We'll, we'll experiment. So you've got a pyramid. Have you ever been? You, I was talking about the Natural History Museum, um, and these are little. They put trinkets like this inside tombs. Yes, of course they do. Yes, yes. Grave goods. Grave goods. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's to, to um, isn't it? To so that the person who's died has their wealth with them when they go into. Yeah, and they want to offer it to the gods or something yes, well, like that. Yes, when they go it? into the. the Next, next, next world. They, they have their goods with them. I like that. Or the idea. spirit of their goods. I like that idea. <laughs> the spirit of their goods. Yes. So, Come on. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is the mould I'm going to use. This has lovely cabochons, and you can use this with polymer clay and friendly plastic and all sorts of things. Um, you can also use, obviously, the ones that come with your kit as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. Right, I am going to just put my hand around here, because I need to just move this over. Okay. Uh, is that going to be, can you see what I'm doing? And I'm going to now just swirl my colours a little, just to mix them up a bit. And you get these fantastic, the colours swirled in the wow, pot. Wow, it's just now gorgeous. really dramatic, isn't it? It's really lovely. I love the black and gold and turquoise together. Coming down, it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to let it pour down, slowly. So on your screen right now, for £12.95, you are getting five different jewel enamel powders. They're usually four pounds each, so you're, you're making a huge saving here. They should be 20 pounds. Uh, they, of course, all, work, all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee as well. We're gonna be giving you the molds a little bit later too. So if you want those, if, if you're ready to replenish everything that you've already been using, or if you are buying that starter kit today for the first time, you're gonna want to get the micro powders while they're on a good deal right now too. So, so you've poured in to the mould and we are I again did. going to be doing these moulds a little bit later. I'm going to do a second one as well but I'll tell you a little bit about it. I'm, put, I'm being quick here now and just putting some um, extra colours in the, in the pan. Gold. One tip for you is always put in a little bit more um, because you can melt it. Yes, but also it makes it easier to pour if you've got to spend a lot of time oh, scraping. Because you'll scrape and then you'll ruin yes. the patterns. Yes, won't you? yes, so it's good to. It's a good um, tip. Yes, and you'll find that the colour it, it will cool as it goes into the mould too quickly, and you'll get ridges. Okay. So always have a little bit extra in there. I bet you get through loads of the powder, don't yeah, you? You do. Yeah, the mica powder you you use such small amounts of it, but it's so it's fantastic value. But you you, you use loads of the jewel enamel. Yeah, we could do with it in a great big vats. Yeah, vats, you can get we? the diamond clear in the big pots as well yeah so this time I've got to just let this it, I don't know whether I need the air conditioning on because I get really hot but I think the pot is giving yeah. a radiator <laughs> it's um, not going so fast today 12.95 now you do need to check out baskets we're very very busy on the lines for those uh, jewel enamel powders how long does it take to dry once it's in here uh, minutes 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 uh, in fact I'll check now if I tip this just slightly I can, you can see, see cause it'll um, it'll sort of go It'll move. Yes, you can see the middle still moving if I tip it, so I don't want to do that yet. Do you know, I'm just wondering whether my socket is the one that happened. It I, may have. It, is oh, no, it's slow. on because it's... Uh, yes, yeah. it just still says it's heating and... And normally, well, we just saw it go... Brrr, yes. It might be that dodgy socket. It, it might be that dodgy socket. It might be that I dodgy socket. I remember having an embarrassing experience with one of the sockets when I was trying I, to I iron. I don't know what it is, yeah. <laughs> and that one didn't want to go at all. But I don't want to stir it until all the powder has, has dissolved. dissolved yes. Oh, I see. When you're moving around, yes. actually, it's doing it. Yes, so I'll hasten that a little if I can. Just tip it, because the hottest spot is actually here. In, in the, the centre, middle. always, because yes. that's where the actual heat is coming from. Yes. And then it spreads out. Um, now, don't forget, for, you can get the starter kit for this today. We are going to be fusioning friendly plastic together with your jewel enamel. So if you've already got your jewel enamel, you're going to definitely want to start your friendly plastic. Mm -hmm. The <laughs> friendly plastic is mind-blowing. I love it. And these two together are just wonderful. You get these wonderful colours for just $12.95. Very, very popular. A lot of the stock has already been allocated for these. How many have we got left, Laura, percentage-wise? So we've got about half the stock gone. So we need you do need to be making moves on that one at twelve ninety five. Very, very popular. Um, How do you make holes when you're putting findings in? Because I can see you've got you've got <laughs> something in your hand right there. Where? I'm going to place this in when the jewel enamels are hot. So okay, that's so why then pour it while you've got... Yes. Right, good. Can't wait to okay. see that. Yes, because you, you can't actually put the, the head pin in really afterwards. No. Um, you have to do it when the, the jewel enamels are warm. So we'll use, we'll use this one around here. 
and I'm just going to put my arm around there. I'm really very right-handed, so I find it very difficult. Me too, <laughs> to hold on with your left. So just pacing it down there. Just do a steady, steady pour and try to pour close to the mould. Okay, you're very neat when you do this. If it goes over the edge, does it matter? No, you can always remelt it, don't forget. And can you file it off if you... Um, um, you can. Is it better just to remelt? Yeah, it's easier to remelt. If you have... Um, let me just give you a tip here also. If you have mm, bubbles, a heat gun. Yeah, you can use the heat gun. And I can see a little bubble just there, and it will pop in a second, I hope. Heat gun is available on our website. I think the heat gun's about twelve ninety nine. Fantastic, and it's on it's on our website, uh, all the w's dot com. If you don't, if you're not shopping online, uh, then we do, of course, have it um, on the phone lines. Just speak to the call centre. I'll get. I'll try and get it on screen for you in a sec. So you've placed your head pin in. inside the. Um, the melt just melted the still yes. hot jewel enamel yes. there. If I was quicker, then the edge wouldn't have gone cool. But because okay. I was messing around trying to get rid of bubbles for you, you can see that it's actually a little bit a bit far. The headpin doesn't go in until a little okay. bit further in. So when you do that correctly, it should sit in nicely at the edge. Okay, so nice and quickly yes. and push it straight in. Yes. Is there a point where I can drill this with my Dremel drill if I don't? Um... Not so easily. Uh, jewel enamels tend to be a little brittle, although there is a product that I hope that Jewelry Maker will be taking soon called um, Crafty Flex. Okay. Which will improve the flexibility of, yeah, of jewel enamels. So that will be really handy to have. We've got some very exciting products <laughs> coming up for you. One in yeah. particular which is going to literally blow your mind. We'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> so at what point are we here? We're going to go to the Wall of Fame in a sec, so should we do yeah. this before? I'm just going to take that out. Oh, look! And what we'll do is I'm going to heat polish that, because you, can you see that the, it's not completely shiny? I quite like that, though. Yeah? Yeah. But you can make it shiny you with the can, heat gun, yeah? So is the heat gun an essential, would you say? I think well, it's certainly essential for friendly plastic, and I would say yes for jewel enamels too. It really is invaluable. Fabulous. So we'll just do a quick bit of heat polishing so you know how to sort this out. And I'm just going to turn that up onto high. This heat gun has two settings. Heat, heat gun um, is for you on the bottom. It's £22.95 with the heat mat, that is. So it's not on its own, it's with the heat mat. And that's a really large heat mat. That is Which fantastic. is invaluable yes. for so many reasons. Your heat mat is amazing. OK. So just, just shining it out. Yes, I have a little bubble there, but what, are you, what you need to do, and this might take a little more time than we've actually got, if you want to get rid of some of the bubbles on the surface, is you, you heat, and as it starts to move, move your heat gun away. Okay. And keep coming back, because you need it to cool in between times. And slowly, slowly, your hole will close up. Okay? Fabulous. And you carry on like that, and it will, it will close up. But I'm going to see whether we can take this one out of here now. And Before just you. you do that, we have to go to the Wall of Fame, oh. so we will come back to this in just a second. Right now, it's time to look at your designs in the Wall of Fame. Sorry. Oh, I love this. And this is my favourite thing. I just love looking at uh, your designs in the Wall of Fame. Number 62 is from Gorgeous Cat in, uh, in Cardess. She says, hi everyone at JM. As you can see, I went mad with your multicoloured shell beads. I just couldn't stop the bright colourful beads and I am enjoying um, the, to work with them so much. I've used uh, the findings and all beads are from JM. Love working with them. Thank you so much um, from Kath. Thank you, Cathy, on number 62. What have you got? Oh, yes, I've got number 65. And the picture's are this way, but I'm going to have to turn it sideways because the writing's on the other way. So turn your heads and there look at it go. that way. That's fine, that's <laughs> okay. fine. Um, this is from Christine, um, Christine Walton. Uh, here's this week's entry using Crazy Lace Agate and Labradorite mixed in the double strand necklace. Mix of mookite and agate beads in the necklace with a dropper and smoky quartz in the hoops and antique wire, all from JM. Love the show and fabulous entertainment. What's well, Chris? I love that. I think that's gorgeous. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this for wire work. It's amazing, Celia Butler. 
Uh, hi everyone, it's about babies this week. A colleague has become a grandmother for the first time this week to twins, a boy and a girl. So I've made her a keepsake version of the Rachel Norris heart pendant with pink and blue pearls to represent the babies and white pearls for the new granny. How lovely. Uh, and a fine Viking weave necklace to go with it. I hope she likes it. Best wishes to all Celia and Colin. Celia, what a lovely friend you are. That's gorgeous. <laughs> well done. You can come and be my friend. Yes, too. I was going to say that. I quite, oh, I quite like you as my friend too. <laughs> number 63, Celia. Okay, I've got number 66. Oh, I love um, a cluster. Yeah, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> Hello, JM. Love Carol's last show the other day. Was laughing and crying along at the end. It was brilliant. Anyway, here's my entry for this week. I made this from a bead tube I have had for a while. Mm. I have enjoyed just looking at them, but bought. I uh, but thought, sorry. So there's a splodgy bit over there. There's a splodgy oh. bit. But thought I'd better make something. Fingers. Yes. <laughs> I added a few Amazonite and aquamarine stones too. All JM, of course. I hope you like it. It took quite a while to put them um, all on the head pins, but I did it while sitting in the garden watching with my children playing. Aww. Isn't that lovely? Perfect it's very afternoon's activity. Yes. I do love those head pin clusters. I've got to say, they're a classic, aren't they? They are. That's Maria in London. Well done, Maria. <laughs> um, uh, Leslie, you have made a gorgeous Laura Binding style pendant number 64. Good morning to you all. Can't wait for the Christmas show today. That was yesterday. <laughs> I hope you did grab some bits, Leslie. Need to get started for my winter craft fairs. Here is my latest entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a wire work heart made from a Hannah Nicole tutorial I bought. All the wire and the fasted quartz stones are obviously from JM. I'm hoping to do much more. Watch this space. Keep up the laughs, the bargains, the brilliant demos and masterclasses are from Leslie in the Isle of Man. Thank you, Leslie. That is gorgeous. Do you know what? After the break, we're going to come back with the most amazing strand of Labradorite nuggets. And they're not little Labradorite nuggets. They are huge. I wouldn't call these nuggets, you know. They're <laughs> massive pendants. They You've got gorgeous. a huge carrot weight. They're just beautiful. Uh, so don't miss out. We will be right back. Are you looking to create bespoke bridal jewellery? Then come and join guest designer Sheila on our bridal workshop. Sheila will guide you through how to design stunning accessories, including techniques using headbands, hair combs and tiaras. The full course includes a selection of hair combs and headbands, a selection of findings and wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a trip to our gemstone museum. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 6444 655. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call centre. The new studio store. The experience just got better.
come and learn alongside our expert Liz Welsh about how to use your Jewel Enamel Starter Kit. This DVD will introduce you to the fundamentals of using Jewel Enamel, including melting, using Carantha Moulds, heat polishing, bezel setting and adding gleam and a stellar flash to enhance your designs. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. These are just gorgeous. I love them. I was getting overexcited and Ryan said, I'm not bringing your mic in until I tell you. He's a bit of a control freak like that. Oh, you are a massive control freak. You're going to be one of them dads. You'll be at that dinner table till you've eaten every green thing on your plate. That's one of them dads. <laughs> now, have a look at these. Now, I do think the way that they're centre drilled makes a perfect ring. Now, I think... You've got a very slight, slight graduation, nothing to write home about, but it means that you're going to be able to just give that subtle organic feeling. Now, I want you to see, I love that these are pale, yet still give outstanding labradorescence. I look for that when I want to um, mix, mix my labradorite with pink gemstones. I like the paler tones. And you've got some wonderful golds coming out of this strand. You've got some incredible purples coming out of this strand. Labradorite is a double take gemstone after all isn't it it's the gemstone you saunter past and then stop look and you know what us ladies like was that me or was did that happen i can't i have to go and investigate there's no way i'm leaving it what is this amazing gemstone that just i thought was just gray but it's not it's so much more it's 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 lightning bolts of wonderful labradorescence that you get this was voted our favorite gemstone of 2012 so it's a very 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 popular gemstone with you and i think it's because uh, well i know it's because it does something that not all gemstones do it gives you what we call labradorescence discovered in canada definitely known as the canadian gemstone and um, oh i do love canada this one is center drilled so if you've been buying our thicker wires and you want more gemstones to set into rings i think just one of these is substantial in a ring just one it will work so beautifully alongside your rose quartz look at the size of the rose quartz I've got coming up for you later don't you think this is a perfect duo it is isn't it now if we are treating these as individuals I want oh that brings out the blues if we are treating these as individuals then I want you to think about uh, how much you're going to sell a ring for and it, whilst you're thinking about that I'm going to count them for you look at that labradorescence it's wonderful isn't it Gosh, there's loads on here. Let me start again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Forty-one. Forty-one. That is forty-one rings. If you sold each ring for two pounds, eighty-two pounds that will be all together. Who's gonna sell a ring for two pounds? I'm not. I'm not. Gemma Crow said without gemstones with a 1.25 wire, 12 pounds a ring. All right, so you've got a labradorite. So let's be, I mean, if that was 15 pounds, what's 15 times 41? Because I don't know. 615. I didn't know, everyone knows I'm thick when it comes to numbers. I can't be pretending that. Laura said, you could pretend you worked it out and I'll do it. No, I can't because everybody that knows me knows I'm thick as two short planks with numbers. Now, you could make yourself, therefore, a serious profit, don't you think? So would this strand be an investment for you? I mean, I think when you see the price tag for 41 individual Labradorites, you're going to want it in your life. DIG P34, £11.95 pence for 41 ring size Labradorites. 
an excellent price tag if you've been buying a, a if yesterday you bought a lot of our trade prices if you're thinking about that christmas store which so many of you are jewelry makers crafters you're all so organized it's important isn't it because in september when you're doing that fair people are shopping for christmas and you've only got a month or so to create to design and create your pieces in october people are shopping for christmas it's start we're starting to move towards working out what we're doing with our autumn tones mark's doing his christmas stock now you know it's important to stay ahead of the game Gemma has done her christmas stock already it's important you've got to be organized liz would you agree with that absolutely otherwise you'll find yourself with no stock at the when, it, when you really really need it and christmas is so busy anyway with all your family stuff so and that can only be done at that time so you have to get ahead of the game Get ahead of the game. Anyone who's got a family, of course, I know how biz busy Christmas is. You go into this Christmas play and that Christmas play and taking this person Christmas shopping and yeah. goodness knows what. <laughs> 11.95. Now, I have got the most amazing kit coming up for you later on and I'm going to show you how well this Labradorite sits within the strands. It just looks amazing. This kit's got precious metal findings in it, real silver findings. I know what price you're going to. Are you actually, is this how you do it in the, because you're doing, this is, that's a better than a nighttime show price tag, which means me and you need to have a meeting because um, I didn't realize that's what you've been doing. She's not, you're a cheeky little devil. Now let me show you what's coming up. A little bit later I want to show you the most amazing strawberry crackle quartz I have ever seen in my life because it look do you know what it makes me it makes me want to drink some uh, pink champagne I'm gonna go around my mum's house and drink some pink champagne because obviously I'm not gonna buy it myself Carver in my house Carver <laughs> it'll do though won't it look how beautiful are these going to be with pearls? I love strawberry crackle quartz. It's so beautiful. I'm a massive fan of golden retail quartz as well because it's so different. And talking of different, friendly plastic is happening soon. So you need to be on the ball for that. Did you buy last night, did, yesterday, sorry, like yesterday afternoon from Gemma and I, did you get your felt? Liz has fusioned felt with um, Friendly Plastic and Jewel Enamel. And when I tell you she's done some, can I give you a sneaky peek? Can you show me that amazing mask oh, that's on the front? Friendly Plastic is so affordable. How amazing, how amazing is this? I am absolutely blown away. I want to do a craft store with things like this and all of that lovely felt that I we had yesterday. You want you need to be on the ball for this because we have got a very well, you've got a very low stock of that friendly plastic, which I'm sad about because I love it so much. But if you if you know you want it, you've got to be quick and you've always got a 30 day money back guarantee. Liz, I'm gonna give this back to you because I am clumsy and I feel a little bit responsible right now. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm going to give to you some more tones of the jewel enamel a lot of you've been asking you're replenishing your jewel enamel so uh, let's give you that opportunity right now um, and if you are umming and ahhing about the jewel enamel don't forget you have got a 30-day money-back guarantee and you can fusion jewel enamel not just with uh, your jewelry making but with your paper crafts as well and all sorts of other crafts that you've got um, we're going to show you what Liz has created and you are going to just Gemma Crow was on her knees to this lady earlier on and when I went in there she just went I'm she is just such an inspiration to me. And so, you know, Liz inspires Gemma. Uh, Gemma inspires me and us all. You, <laughs> you are amazing. You're amazing, Liz. And I love this. Uh, Ge Gemma's there now in the window going, <laughs> Look at her. She, she loves. Look, she, look. She just loves Liz, and and I think you know Gemma blows my mind, and so do you. We have you. designers here at Jewelry Maker that I would put in the you're an artist um rachel norris definitely um gemma and definitely liz you Thank three you. should get together and create something mind-blowing <laughs> like you are poof, 
mind blowing. You blow my mind. Um, and all of our other designs are amazing at so many other things, but you three are artists. Anyway, Thank you. anyway, <laughs> have a look. Uh, you can give me that fiver you said. Yeah, you, uh, no. my head will be enormous. <laughs> no, I mean it. I, I mean it. I would never say it if I didn't mean it. Believe me. Thank you. Um, you've got all these lovely colours in your appetite colour. Your green appetite colour. Isn't that lovely? You've, I'm going to turn these around. You don't want to see the, the label, do you? Deep gold. Deep gold. Ooh, pyrite -y. And then you've got jet black. You've got light gold, which is all Egyptian and luscious. And then you've got your aquamarine. Oh, I love those two together. Aren't they beautiful? Do you see the new ribbon that we've got that's aquamarine colour? Well, I, I never, I fancy that. Well, I never. You have got five shades. Now, they're normally, don't forget, individually, four pounds each. Again, if you buy in bulk from us here at Jewelry Maker, we're going to give you a little treat for doing so. Uh, 12 95 it's good, isn't it? Should be £20. So you're saving over £7 by buying these as bulk. If you're shopping with us for the first time today, you will, of course, get a host of free goodies with your first order, including a free tutorial DVD, a jewellery maker book, all the information on your workshops and tutorials, and every month through your door for free. This never happens with any other hobby that I've ever had. A, a, a JM Hub magazine. In that JM Hub magazine, there's some sneaky information about something that we're going to be doing very shortly. Watch this space. We are going to be launching something amazing. Soon, soon, when I think we're ready. When I'm in, because I've demanded that I'm doing that. And, and if not, I've, t I've told Hannah Oxbury, I've got a tight grip on the old, uh, on the old, um, Oh, headlock is the word I was looking for. Now look at these. I love these. I've only seen these once. I think they're amazing. And it's about shape and colour. And I can actually see both Gemma Crow and Liz loving this strand because look at Gorgeous. Liz, isn't it lovely yeah. to work with, with shapes we don't usually yes. work with? Aren't these fabulous? And a stunning colour that makes everything else sort of zing it's it's just you, you only need to use one or two maybe three so you can then put them with other things that are a little different and they will just shine out they're fantastic i love those shapes i love them too yes i just think they're so different and this yes. is the thing like i've said keep things Spicy. Yeah. We don't want to eat the same food every day. No. We don't want to make the same jewellery every day. We don't want to wear the same shoes no. every day. <laughs> Keep life exciting. It's important, isn't it? I'm one of those. Well, maybe it's not important for everybody, but it is for me. Oh, it is I for like, me too. It is it. <laughs> I can't be doing the same thing every single no. day. No. Now have a look with the blue. I think that combination is luscious. What a gorgeous combination this is. Actually, the kids are going to like working with these bright colours too, aren't they? Mm, they now, I'm are. a big fan of green. We're going to give you an amazing price tag. Just wait, because I want to count these. Because Liz just said, use them individually. They are going to make a big impact on your jewellery. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22. Cool. Now, if these were 50p each, that would be 11 pounds. That would be good. In fact, if you sauntered into that craft store and saw a pendant for 50p, you'd think, flaming heck, that's cheap for this store. But it's not, it's not a jewellery maker price. Like we're talking about genuine gemstones, by the way. A lot of um, bead stores will tell you that they find it very hard to supply genuine gemstones mm. because they have to buy them in a major bulk to be able to compete with the likes of jewellery maker. And I've spoken to quite a few people. They've just opened up a new a bead shop in, um, in a town called Hitchin near where I live. And, um, I, and, and they're not genuine beads. It's amazing and I love it. I went in there and had a little chat with the lady um, and she said it's just really hard for her to get genuine gemstones. Um, but yeah, the lovely shops so do pop in there if you're a jewelry maker that lives in the uh, Hertfordshire area. Uh, three <laughs> strands, three gorgeous strands. 
And we're gonna give you a wicked price tag. So 20 21 on this show, 9.95. Now for this pink strand alone, I think you're getting amazing value. Bicones, bicones are essential, aren't they? Because they make the perfect beady bead. They slot together wonderfully. You make a, a fabulous tassel out of a bicone. There's ever so much, so much um, that you can get out of a bicone. It's wonderful. Green adventuring. There's six by five. Now Mark would put these, I'm sure, in one of his wonderful macro bracelets I just love these triple macrame bracelets Mark so he's such an inspiration and so many of, of our, our guest designers are inspiring in so many different and fresh ways which is lovely isn't it whether you're gonna the goddess bracelet with that blue how many of us are obsessed with the goddess bracelet how many goddess bracelets have I stolen from Mark's collection a lot <laughs> a lot they are great though aren't they UJGC73 that's three pounds and 31 pence per strand, which is beyond excellent value. Your blue agate rounds are eight mil. Your green aventurine bicones are six mil. Your fuchsia crackled agate irregular slabs range, of course, between five by 12 to 34 by 30. That's huge, 32 millimeters. They're going to make a huge impact. This one is just very popular and you are buzzing, buzzing, buzzing bees on those phone lines. Are you ready for something that's going to make me trot and neigh and all those kind of exciting things? Um, because I am extreme. You're going to have to calm me down now, Laura. Keep it calm, Jenny. Keep it calm. My inner what? Wren. Oh, I thought you said, find your inner Wren. What does that mean, Laura? <laughs> find your inner Wren. OK. Jenny Wren. <laughs> now. Oh. Keep it calm. <laughs> I can't keep calm. Can, please, can I get, borrow that vase a minute? Yes, you may. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you. There we go. Do you want to be able to create things like this? I want this in my house. Isn't this, it's a piece of art. Gemma Crow, what say you? Isn't this amazing? Look at this vase, Gemma Crow. Gemma Crow, <laughs> just give me, I think this lady should get in here. Don't you think this friendly plastic is brilliant? <laughs> she, Gemma is giving me the thumbs up. This is a wonderful, wonderful medium. Now I'm gonna talk to you in a very calm way because I can get carried away with friendly plastic. Uh, yesterday I got extremely carried away with the uh, felt. If you've got the felt, you need to, do, to get this with because it looks wonderful together. Now, Friendly Plastic is an inexpensive, brand new system for you. You don't need expensive tools to work with Friendly Plastic. You can work with Friendly Plastic with the children because, clear is in the title, it's Friendly Plastic. When we think about melting plastic, alarm bells go off, we think we're gonna burn ourselves, you will not. Friendly Plastic can be heated up in a pan of warm water, just in a regular cooking pan. You can do that with friendly plastic. I'm going to give you a brand new system that you are going to create lots of jewelry, lots of amazing things. You remember that mask? Oh, you look at this vase, wow. The jewelry you're going to create is gonna blow your mind. The things that you're going to create that are gonna look amazing on your Christmas craft stool are gonna blow your mind. Imagine now, imagine it, your craft stool, just imagine it, all that felt you bought yesterday, you're already excited about that. It's easy, isn't it, that felt, it's easy. So is friendly plastic. It's inexpensive felt, wasn't it, 21.95 for that starter kit? So is friendly plastic. Now, can you imagine how amazing your craft store is gonna look with all these fabulous mediums? You are gonna stand out from all of the others with this system. This is the way forward. This is the way to inexpensively and easily make your customers excited, make yourself excited. You've got to keep those juices flowing. You've got to start looking at new mediums and thinking about how to wow your customers, how to wow the people that you are giving these gifts to. And you're gonna do that with Friendly Plastic. You're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. And Liz is gonna talk us through how to use it. I'm gonna give you the price tag. And Liz is going to explain all of the elements. You are going to get 
the friendly plastic DVD with your starter bundle today. So this is a new bundle including the DVD. The DVD has lots of projects on it along with Liz and it works at a pace that means you can work alongside the DVD. You've got it with. Put together by Liz, this is $4.95 on its own. You've got the colours, now they all have the black backing for a reason. We'll talk to Liz about that in a little bit. Now you also have your cloud clay. I'm opening this whether you like it or not, Laura. <laughs> I love this stuff and it dries hard so you can actually make beads out of it, yes. not just that, I, honestly the kids will go bananas mm -hmm. for this stuff, it is wonderful. Now we have obviously we've got a family of three kids at home, this is going to entertain them, especially our five year old who will just love this, Oliver would love this. Now it smells amazing, it looks like tar doesn't it but it isn't, watch, mm. oh I love it. It's just the smell of it, I love it. Now, what you can do is, you see all the moulds that we were seeing earlier, you can make your own moulds out of this, can't you, Liz? Yeah, you can also make um, your own stamps out of it, <gasps> uh, which is really good fun. How do I make my own stamps? Well, you just take an impression of something, or you, um, e a, another stamp in particular is good, but, a, but a, anything. You can even just put marks into it. Do you want me so to if lend I you a tool? To, <laughs> if I wanted to do a black onyx round, I just put them in, take them out, there you go. Then I've got... I mean that, oh look, even the facets came yes. out in there. <laughs> Can you see that? It's quite hard to see. But the facets came out in there. If I wanted to mould my face, could I do that? Yes, you could, but it might be a little uncomfortable. I'm going to do it. You could do bits of you. I can't do it you. now because I've got makeup on. <laughs> do bits of you. I reckon that's enough for just my nose in here. <laughs> my big old Roman <laughs> nose. Can I do my hand? I could do my hand. Yes. <gasps> little baby feet. <laughs> You can mould anything you like. Little baby <laughs> pig's trotters. My look, my pig's trotter. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> my chicken's feet. <laughs> and because it, it's really, really light, it goes on cards and things like that really easily. Um, so and doesn't make them all fall over. And you can stamp into it, as I say. So and make stamps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But if this was a hand, look, even my fingerprint has gone in there. Yes, it does take all the details really well. Can you see that? Wow! I'm just thinking I'd love this because I could then make friendly plastic or jewel enamel of all the kids' feet. <laughs> and I actually yeah, think that that's yeah. quite a cute thing yeah. to do. Yes. This is better than I thought. I already loved it. Now I love it more. <laughs> oh my God. Right, anyway, that's not even all you get. Of course it isn't. You get your oozing sheets. Now your oozing sheets, I think you get eight of them in here. Talk to me about oozing sheets. What are oozing <laughs> sheets? Well, um, oozing sheets, they, they're laser mesh and it's um, something I use for oozing friendly plastic through to create fantastic textures. And it'll create things that will make people say, how long did it take you to bead that? It's, um, and of course it takes actually just a few moments. So they're fantastically useful um, and they'll give you a nice regular pattern which is not always easy for beginners to get in friendly plastic because it's a much more organic sort of um, approach. And so you, <laughs> you're going to ooze through that or make pre impressions. You can use it for creating texture as well. But when you've got, got it oozed through, are you going to be able to get it out again? Am I? <laughs> you, you may or may not. Is it coming all the way out? Oh, I see what I've done. Yes, yeah, yeah, I should have just pressed that. Oh, no, I did. I got it. I got yeah. it. Look. You get the most fantastic textures. So now I can stamp on. That'll dry, won't yes. it? I can dry. Now, once I've dried my um, my lovely sticky stuff, yep. can I re-wet it again or not? Uh, the best thing to do, uh, no, when it's dry, you can't re-soften that. When, when the cloud clay dries, it really has dried. And well, it that's a good thing if you're making... Yeah, stuff that you want finished. And for if you're making stamps or moulds and things like that. But if you're going to make a stamp out of it, the best thing, or a mould, well, particularly a stamp, you need to just coat it with a clear varnish just uh, to seal it because the black cloud clay, if you put water on it when it's dry, you might get a little bit of black colour um, coming off and you don't really okay. want that on your stamp. So just seal it and then it works fan fantastically well. Eight oozing sheets. Now, believe me, this is so affordable. You've got all your colours. How many colours did I count again? One, two, three. Ten, ten. colours. Ten colours. We're going to do a demo on this momentarily. And you've got your DVD and you've got that lovely cloud clay, which is just 
Fandango. Back in stock, this time you're getting the DVD. All of this, and this is all you need to start up your brand new project. So much, you have so much friendly plastic in here. It's gonna go a long, long way. Back in stock, $24.95. If you did your felt yesterday and you're looking to fusion it with anything, this is the way for a whole new hobby. Now I love silver clay. You know I get excited about that, but it can be expensive to start up. $24.95, I do not consider expensive to start up. What can you buy for $24.95? Not even a pair of shoes, can you? $24.95 sees you with a whole new genre. It sees you with a whole new exciting medium to work with. This is an incredible deal. You are getting so much. And believe me, when you see what you can create, in fact, I'm gonna show you very quickly the sorts of things you can create. Now, we don't have loads of these in stock, so you do need to get them now. You've got 30 days to decide whether you definitely, if you're thinking shallow, shan't I? Once it's gone, it's gone. Last time when it sold out, it's taken until now to get it back, which is months, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes it is. May, was it May? I think it was the end of May. So I we had it at yeah. end of May, somewhere like that. It took us months. Now I'm gonna show you, it's not just about jewelry making, and this is something that I like because so many of you out there are crafty in other ways. I'm not very crafty, but I do like making the cake and things like that. But I love that this isn't just about jewelry. Have a look what Liz has made. She has made jewelry out of, look at these earrings, little books. Now saying earlier my daughter is a bookworm these would be perfect yeah. <laughs> for her but actually have a look little bouquets would make a lovely brooch wouldn't it <laughs> but look at this look at this here a trinket box do you know made. what the patterning on there is the pattern the pattern on the outside what is it peel off stickers peel off stickers <laughs> You use the pattern of peel off stickers. I've used them. They are in there. That's what the silver is, is the peel off stickers. Oh my gosh. So you can combine it with so many different things, things that you've already got in your stash. The inside is coloured with um, transfer foils, uh, but the outside pattern is peel off stickers. Amazing. Look at the bangles that you can make. Have a look at this. What, are you, what is this? Is like an ornament, isn't yes, it? Yes, it was. It was a, a piece one of, of art. My early experiments combining textiles, stitch textiles, with friendly plastic because friendly plastic gives you structure um, where textiles don't have it. And I wanted to combine the two together, and that was an early piece. This would be amazing <laughs> just hanging from your craft fair. Look at this. It's just a bit of fun. An amazing ornament. I was I'm going to very quickly show you and then we need to get going. I want yes. to see how this works. Have a look at this as well because if you bought your felt yesterday, you can combine <laughs> felt with friendly plastic. Look at that. Now there are lots of you on the phone lines for this. There is a queue building up to four minutes long. £24.95. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. You need to check out baskets if you're shopping online. Don't forget, this has been the first time in a long time since May, I think, that we've actually had friendly plastic back in stock. Have a look how you can incorporate this with your uh, paper crafts as well. <laughs> so you can put it on the front of a notebook. It's just beautiful. Last thing I'm going to show you, there is so much more before we get into the demo. So, how easy, how easy is friendly plastic? Now, you've got the melting pot, but you don't need the melting you pot. You don't, but it is really handy. You can use a pan on the hob. A pan. I think when you're getting started, use the basics that you've got at home. Yes. The more you use this, then grab the extras. And I you know agree. what? I'm supposed to be standing here telling you, oh my gosh, you need the, the mountain bike. You don't. <laughs> you don't. I want no. you to have something that's affordable. Yes. And I promise you to God, this is affordable and you're going to love it. Right. Let's get okay. going. Okay. Friendly plastic comes as sticks. Yes. Plastic with so a foil surface. So we've got surface. 10 of those. Yes. They'll go a long way? They'll go a very long way. Um, and it softens at 60 to 70 degrees centigrade. So that's whether it's in hot water or uh, using a heat gun or even the oven. So, so you don't need anything other than your pan or your oven? Yes. It's great to have these other elements if you're, if you're starting. And I think if you, if you need to buy or want to buy one piece of kit, the, the heat gun will be the, your lifesaver. Okay. Because then you don't have to keep taking things to and from the oven and you can heat just what you want rather than the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to pop a piece in the hot water just so you can see what it feels like. Now you've done it for your side, colour side down. down. Yes. Is that important? It helps to prevent sticking to the bottom of your pot. Okay. Even if this is a non-stick pot, sometimes things can, can. still stick. Okay. Um, and certainly if you're using a pot on the hob, and it's you know then yes. it's, it's just a 
good idea. Okay. Just so you know, the temperature is 60 to 70 degrees centigrade. So you can put your finger in just, you can't keep it in there for more than a second. I've got asbestos fingers yeah. in here. So it's hot, but it's not yeah. boiling hot. Um, so if it's boiling and bubbling, then that's way too it's hot. It's too hot. It's friendly plastic. It's warm. This is safe, yes. of course, with adult supervision for your kids to be around. Um, I know my children would love this. All three of our yes. kids, because we are, you know, it's just wonderful. And because we've got all the kids in the holidays, this is a wonderful thing to do on a rainy day. Yes, fabulous. It so is wonderful. Fantastic. My boys had heaps of fun. They always made monster faces and skeletons I and swords. Yeah, and boys like yeah. doing that. Don't <laughs> I even they? made a helmet for them once because they had to be um, a Viking, I You're think. You're a brilliant yeah. mum, but your kids are the best. Now, Ed's daughter, Sophie, is really into her arts, and I uh, think this would be good for her, Ed. Well, I think yeah. we should get <laughs> yeah. some, because she she's really amazing it. at art, isn't she? You've got to encourage that, Ed. You've got to encourage uh, it. <laughs> Just so you can see that the plastic is really soft. Did you want to feel it, Jenny? Yes, please, please. Just don't get it on your lovely nails because it'll stick temporarily. If it sticks to anything, put your hands in cold water. Okay. And it'll come away. So we're going to use that now to put into the mold. You can make a friendly, so Laura's going, can second. I make a friendly plastic ring? Yeah, I did, I just had a she go, just did. yeah. <laughs> so you could mold it around your finger because it's not yes. gonna burn you. No, well, I had to mold it around something a lot bigger, but I'm going to just put it in the cat mold just for the moment. Oh good, I like that cat mold. This is the, very Egyptian. This fantastic. So you're just pushing it in yes. and you're using the corners and you're moving around and you're manipulating. I am, I'm squishing all the time. it in. Am I working against the clock? A you, bit. Yeah, right, okay, so you because need to keep going, keep going, yes. keep going. Don't, don't answer the phone. Well, the thing is, if it does get cool and hard, you can actually just put it back in hot water. This, oh, okay. This pot is actually too small to put this whole mould Oh, in. but you could put that all in your... Yeah, but oh, you could put the lovely. smaller moulds in the hot oh, water. okay. This so, is good. <laughs> so really, when you do this, make sure that you really push, push down push, firmly. Push. I've got a fraction too much in there, so what I could do, just to oh, show you... Oh, oh, hey, uh, You what can just you snip off, off. Ex excess. Okay, you can just snip off a bit of excess. So, and as you notice, though, the, the colour on the, the, the background, the background colour, wherever it is, look, is black, so that yes. will start to show through. Okay, okay. The other thing you can do is, if it's going cool, which it is here, because we've got air conditioning on, thank goodness, <laughs> you can use a heat gun on it. Okay, now this isn't essential. No. It's a helper. I would get the kit first, and then, once you're yeah. addicted, like I am, then start getting the extras. Yes. With the heat mat, and the um, and the, the heat gun, you're paying twenty two ninety five. Now I'm going to give you the details for the moulds. There are still some in Thank stock, but over half, uh, sorry, approaching half <laughs> of the entire stock has gone at twenty four ninety five. You do need to think about a little bit of urgency now. Now you've got two moulds. Are they both separate, or do you get them both together? You get them together. Oh wow, that's really good. <laughs> That doing an so offer. useful. That's a fantastic mould. So you've got your cabochons and your Egyptian motifs. Oh, look! <laughs> that was so quick. <laughs> I love really him. Quick. I love him. And if you um, highlight him with a little bit of uh, gleams as well, you'll really see the textures on him as well. I'm trying very hard not to get overexcited <laughs> now. It is a little bit like Christmas for me. I do love this cat. I now need this. I love it. I want these new moulds, please. Laura, can you? They're amazing. For two, on their own, they're twelve ninety-five. Yep. So usually just over twenty-five pounds for both. We're doing the two together today for just twenty-one pounds and ninety-five mm. pence. You are going to need to act fast for these. They're going to. They are invaluable. These, they're aren't they're they? fantastic. <gasps> really, really wonderful. And the cabochons are perfect um, for so many different things. Well, I need this cat. I, I think it's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I did a couple of other little ones just down there, just while, <gasps> and of course the ring. Oh my god! Because gosh. on that one there is a ring mold. Oh, that's what that long one is—a yes. ring mold. So, and the, with the ring mold, you actually use um, a separate colour in the middle section of it. So Egyptian. So on that one, so that's the ring. It's, it's not beautifully made, I have to it say. Is. But it is. But the, I put a bit of the turquoise blue in the centre first. Wow. And then put um, the copper colour over, over the, the top. back, yes. And it's made the band really strong. Yeah. 
Whoop, just pinging this How everywhere. much do we love this? <laughs> 21.95 is for the two moulds. 24.95 is the price tag for your starter kit, including the step-by-step -step DVD. The code for that is EVGC21 is at the bottom of your screen right now. Friendly Plastic is a wonderful brand new medium. Mix it with your felt. It's just incredible. Now, we are busy for, for this. We're very, very busy for this. So please be sure to check out Baskets. Please make sure you're patient on the phone lines. How long are the queues right now? Lord, the queues were about four minutes. Uh, they've gone down to about two and a half minutes. So stay where you are. Right, I'm just gonna move that back slightly so I've got a little bit more space. I'm going to now heat this. I've got a piece of silver. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is create a bezel for the cabochon. This is the one I actually didn't heat polish earlier on. It's from the one we made earlier. Okay, uh, okay. With the jewel enamel. Right. Cabochon. Okay. But this could be a stone. It could be anything. So I could get a stone from the garden and go. That well, if you like is a it, good stone. Yeah. Or you can use one of the fabulous gemstones. Oh, love! But I'm going to cover it, aren't I? You're not only covering. A, you're covering half of it. You're going to hold oh. it. So How, oh, you're making this. A bezel for it, like this. Oh, this. oh my gosh! Okay, right, fine. <laughs> I was worried about covering up all of my gemstones, but I'm not no, going to. No, you're not going to. No. Oh, I want to do this. Particularly if you've got one that's say got a little little crack on the back, or you like it's a bit plain on one side, the other side's beautiful. This is a perfect way of setting it off. Can I just show everyone yes, why you're doing yeah. that? This this is an amazing. <laughs> this is what Gemma Crow was just going mad for earlier. It's a necklace. Look at this. What a great Christmas gift for somebody who's an absolute bookworm. <laughs> look, it's a little book. Look, look. Oh, <laughs> I love this. A little book put together with a lobster claw, cl with a little clasp. Yes. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I want to buy this. And it's just textured with a rubber stamp. I think it's amazing. I need to just show you this because I've just heated it up. I just heated up the piece of friendly plastic with the heat gun and I'm going to put um, my little uh, cabochon So it could down. be anything. It could be an could, agate. Yes. It could be a rose quartz. It could be anything. And you're going to bezel set it? I am, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, and oh I just my God. scoop up the edges. And we're going to do a little bit of lace work. Now, which... notice Liz is using her fingers. This does not hurt. It's friendly plastic. It's wonderful. We are all going bananas for this. It's a <laughs> new craze. You know what? If you are looking to refresh your jewelry making skills, this is it. And you know what? At $24.95, you have got yourself an amazing price tag. What are you up to? I'm just going to, I've just put it in my mic. I need to heat this up again in a second. Um, yes, a little bit of oil on the end of my embossing tool. Um, and what I want to do is I. If I, if I hold it like that, it might be easier for you to see. I'm just going to pull up. Can you see that? Oh, is that you're going to texturise. I'm just going to make up these little sort of loopy bits. This is what I call my lace work, that it gets fancier than this, but this is in its very basic setting. Uh, if you like, they're doing this. Um, and this makes lovely little loops. And if you find that it gets a bit cool as you go round, what you can do is just put it in the hot water. Down and it'll keep its shape. Um, the friendly plastic will soften again, but the jewel enamels won't. So they, if you go, go at it with a heat gun... Well, if I've got a gemstone in there, oh, I don't well, need matter. to worry. No, that's right. And then you just keep on going round until... I love got... this. I absolutely <laughs> think it's the best thing ever. It is so much fun. And honestly, I've never stopped discovering new things to, to do with it. And I say this every time, but I've been using it for more than 20 years. And I still discover new things to do with it. So let's just put that down there. And you have a little setting. And if wow. you, with the one, the, the necklace that I put there, can you see it clearly? Amazingly. What we can do also. Look at the necklace here. There's yeah. another example. While you look at that, I'll find a, a head pin because I want to show you something as well. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I cannot wait to see pictures of your craft stores oh. on the Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. Oh my gosh. If you notice on that necklace the connections between each of the pieces. Yep, here. Yep, there. And um, they're fused on. So I'm going to just show you how to do fused that. Fused on? Yes. Fused on, let's see. Uh, because it makes a really quick and very firm connection that's not going to come undone. So for that one, I used little loopy things, which I don't, think, I don't know things. they have a technical term. They were just amongst my stash. Little double loopy things. But I can do it with a head loopy pin as well. Yeah. They were just loopy watsits. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do it with a head pin too. So I've got a little piece of any plastic in the hot water, but you okay. can do this with a heat gun a if you A little tiny square. Now, ever yeah. such a lot that you get with your kit for just 20 
94.95. Um, those are extremely popular today. One of the most popular, the most popular item uh, so far today. If this is something that you are looking, we didn't have loads of them. We didn't, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and last time they sold out and it's taken a long time for us to get these back in stock. You need to be on the phone lines 0800 6 555. Please bear with the queues. Hop on over to the website, uh, julianmaker.com. You don't have time for queues today. Okay. okay, so where are you at? All I've done is squish that little piece of friendly plastic, and it is a tiny piece around the end of the head Okay, pin. a little okay. blob. A little blob. That I need to cool off in cold water. Um, you need it to be on a head pin, not just a plain piece of wire, because it'll just slip off. Okay, it could be on an eye pin as well, or a wire that you've kinked. So I'm just going to put this in the cold water briefly. So putting it in cold water um, speeds up the, the hardening. hardening. Yes. Okie dokie. Okay, I'll dry that off, because then we're going to just use the heat gun, and we're going to heat a little piece of this. I think I might put it on at one end. Okay. So I'm just going to heat the end of this briefly. Sometimes it's easier to hold the heat gun up. And if I don't have the heat gun, I can just place it back into the pan on that and hold it with some you can You can just dangle it in the hot water okay. to do that as well, which we will be doing that sort of joining when we make the little fish earrings as well. I can't wait for that. <laughs> the little fish earrings, look at these. That, that's happening soon. <laughs> I'm going to give you a kit and then we're going to show you how to make the, the okay. fish earrings. I'm going to put these two together. They're both hot now. But can okay, you see so how they squish together slightly? So you're squishing together the hot... The two hot sticky pieces together. Okay, just about there, that's perfect. Just, um, just so they just push together. You need both bits to be hot for it to be a permanent join. Okay. And that you can cool down. And then down. now it's a permanent join? Yes, I'll let you, it's still probably a little warm. I'm gonna put it in the cold water just okay. to cool it off. The, the cold water hardens things quickly, so it gives you a degree of control. Okay. No, which is perfect when you want to shape Speed, things. sometimes, time is key. Yes, And oh, time is. is money if you're selling jewelry on. Okay. So now you're just gonna curl it into a... You can curl that into whatever you like. And it's there, it's on, it's not going to come off or anything come apart. It's wonderful. So, and that's how I made the necklace. It's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> oh, sorry, now go. remember, you start off with things like that. We've got trinket boxes, beautiful, beautiful bangles. And if you really want to get creative, <laughs> look at what you can do with your friendly plastic. I mean, this is going to really really set the standard so we're really going to push the boundary we're going to come back to friendly plastic in just a bit i've got another wonderful oh. kit for you at a very cheeky price tag with sterling silver findings thank you so much i'm going to go back over to okay. the back over to see the fish earrings right next <laughs> Now, um, no, I'm going to give you the other kit first, actually, the one with gold, um, golden copper findings. So let's go on over and um, have a look at what we've got. Another gorgeous kit. But this one, my little cheeky friends, has a double strand of emerald. May's birth gemstone. Any kit with emerald in, it doesn't happen often. So you need to grab it. A double strand of emerald. Now talk to me and talk to your clients about emerald. There's lots you probably already know. Emerald is world renowned and it's one of the most famous, the most popular gemstones in the world. Most people know about emerald, don't they already? However, will your customers believe that you have got emerald? You're not a jeweler, are you? Well, you know what? Download your certificate of authenticity so you can prove that this is genuine emerald. I can't believe that you are getting a double strand. And look at this beautiful labradorite that comes with. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Just beautiful. We've also got the... Can I just show you that individually, actually? Because the labradorescence I'm getting off this strand is striking and these are for earrings these are for bracelets there's ever such a lot that you can actually do look look at that blue it's striking together with the emerald what a combination and the emerald is a really lovely quality it's very very smooth and to put pyrite and emerald together is a, a definite yes from me i love those gold tones this is a very christmasy kit very very christmasy very autumnal and then sticking with that green theme every time i love these your labradorite grass um, graduated faceted regular rectangles a six by three to ten by six on a 30 centimeter strand at 220 carats in the pyrite the flat hearts are 10 mil your green agate faceted rounds are four mil and you've got nearly 
where you've got 190 carats of emerald. 190 carats of emerald. Now, of course, this is a, a luxury kit because we've got emerald in it. You've got your lovely beading pack with a gold thread as well. Very Egyptian feel. You, of course, have 98 gold on copper findings. How much do you think you should be paying for an emerald kit? 29.95 would be uh, the price tag that I think is in everyone's mind. A meter of chain, eye pins, head pins, all the, all the things that you need that you can see. If this is your first ever purchase here at Jewelry Maker, you're not just getting the kit, you're going to get a free tutorial DVD. You're going to get a free step-by-step book um, all the information on our, our tutorials and workshops this kit has emerald in it should be 29.95 but it isn't it isn't <sighs> this is ridiculous you're getting such an amazing deal if you've already got an open basket we're not going to charge you any more than that one pmp this kit has emerald this kit is 19.95. You need to whip this one up quick because these things don't happen often. 19 pounds and 95 pence, 800, 644, 655 on the phone lines or the w's.jurymaker.com if you're shopping online. Loads of you, loads of you coming. Oh, have a look. Half the stock has been allocated. Have a look. Rosanna, the gorgeous Rosanna, has made some beautiful pieces out of this. I wonder if Rosanna knew she was working with Emerald. Isn't this gorgeous? Very Egyptian. Absolutely beautiful. 1995, approaching three quarters of the entire stock has now gone. Yes, you've got your findings. Yes, you've got Emerald. Surely you should be paying that price tag for the Emerald strand alone. It wouldn't be out of the question, especially if you're shopping elsewhere. Uh, the Labradorite, the Green Agate. Oh my gosh, you're getting a bargain, an absolute deal. This is for you if you're creating your autumn and Christmas pieces because you've got the greens and the golds in there. What an, is this an investment for you? Is this going to make you a massive profit? Are you going to keep that emerald strand for, for in your precious box? Are you going to keep that emerald strand for best? I think you are going to love, love, love this kit. It's very cheeky today, kit wise, I must say. Very, very cheeky indeed. Uh, there are queues on the phone lines for this one, so please bear with them. Uh, I think they're up, approaching three minutes long. It's not too bad, uh, but we're very, very busy. 0800 644 655 is a free phone number, so don't worry about that. Now, goodness gracious me, of course you get your 30-day money-back guarantee. You've got a metre of chain, you've got all your findings. Unbelievable value that we're giving you today. Think about mixing the emerald with the Egyptian cat that we just gave you with your friendly plastic. Wouldn't that be lovely? And very Egyptian. Cleopatra loved, of course, cats and emeralds. And if Cleopatra loves cats and emeralds, it's good enough for me. Now, at 1995, you've got yourself a deal. Right now, it's time to see what you've made from our previous kits. But I, before we do that, I need to just have a word with you about checking out baskets and the fact that you never pay any more than one PMP, uh, no matter how much is in that basket. We are very busy today. We were very busy yesterday with the Christmas show. We are very busy today as well. 19.95 is the price for your kit. Now let's see your gorgeous designs on the Wall of Fame. I have got some stunning, I love that pearls. That is beautiful, yes. I love them with um, rose gold. That is so nice though, having the... Toggle clasp. Yes, it's a, such a decorative toggle clasp and having it not just at the back. Gorgeous. Number 67. <laughs> it's from Lynn Fenwick. Good morning, Lynn. And Lynn saying, hi to all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my first entry to the Wall of Fame. Never had the courage to enter before. Lynn, this is... Gorgeous for your first attempt. Hope you like it. I love it. It's shown uh, made from two strings of JM pearls and the sterling silver rose gold plated findings. Just show off the pearls luster. Keep up the good bargains on the late show and good luck to Carolyn Gherkin from Lynn Fenwick. Well done, Lynn. It's gorgeous. Uh, what have you got there? <laughs> well, this is number 70 and it's called Dad's Memory Keepers. Oh. So this, is a, uh, this is from Elaine Clark. 
and um, she says this is my wall of fame my father sadly passed away at Christmas 2012 oh. and this is what I've made for, for use as memories and to keep him with us at all times the top left heart and circle pendants are from JM um, and using the resin. My niece is penguin mad, so I had to buy a mould that had to turn uh, to turn a, <laughs> a necklace into a penguin pendant. Love it. The bottom row is Mum's set I made for her birthday. I had to order gold pendants from another source, unfortunately, as Mum doesn't wear silver. The chain on the necklace earrings and bracelets are from JM, and the earring bracelet from JM. This is our way of keeping da my dad's memory alive and a piece of him with us at all times. Is it in resin then, or is it in jewel enamel? What is it? Little memories in resin. It, well, it, it looks like, like it's resin. Of, yeah, that's it's resin. Lovely. Resin, I think. Yes. He said, I couldn't send this before now, as every time I went to, I broke down. Oh, bless you. It's still tough, but we're getting through it, and the memory keepers are helping loads. Oh, That's bless Elaine. you, Elaine. That's gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't Resin it? Resin is, is such an amazing medium. It so is. Uh, our thoughts are with you, um, Elaine. Uh, I've got some beautiful, beautiful wire work here from Karen uh, Pendlebury in Manchester. She says, hi to all at JM. Loving the theme shows. Carol's last show was hilarious. She's going to be missed. Anyway, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I haven't done much with wire apart from the Viking knit weave and the gizmo, but Karen's demo, which she made look so easy, inspired me to make this necklace. I've had this blue JM wire for ages and finally got started with it. Hope you like it from Karen in Manchester. I love it, Karen. It's amazing. <gasps> Yeah, you're going to love this. I think it's brilliant. I this love is spiders now. Debbie Bolford would have run out of this room right now. Really? Yeah. I think it's just fantastic. This is just gorgeous. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> yes, this is uh, from Jan Dwyer. And she says, hi, JM. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's made using a faceted black agate bead, smaller round black agate beads, and silver plated wire from JM, and bugle beads from my stash. It was inspired by seeing a spider in the bath earlier today. Ooh. And I thought I'd make this for fun. Hope you like it. Take care. All love and hugs, she's put. And to you, Jan. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Love the spider. I, I like spiders. Yes, I do too. Number 69. Mm. They eat flies. That's enough yeah. for me. Look at this hammered <laughs> wire. This oh, is fabulous. Wow. This is boutique to me. That's lovely. I think it's gorgeous. Mm. Number 69. It looks uh, really professional. Um, and this is from Ruth Davis. And she says, finally, use my Amazonite nuggets with some one mil uh, silver plated wire, free formed and hammered. I think it's summery. I love it. All from JM. Hope you like it. Loved the Jason and Kylie show. A very fitting send off for Carol. Glad to see <laughs> feedback too. Isn't it lovely to see feedback? Um, all these lovely squares. I love that. I think it's yes. fabulous. Very modern. Very it contemporary. Has the the built-in wiggle factor, which is also perfect for people like me who don't do very um, straight lines. Yes, yeah, straight lines, and, and can't get the two things to look exactly the same. No, I, <laughs> I agree. I love that. The wiggle factor. Yeah, you have to build that in. <laughs> definitely put the wiggle factor in. Now the Emerald Princess kit is very fast approaching a sellout it's gone uber limited if you want that you've got to be quick we will be right back with more gorgeousness after this <laughs> We're going to give you all of these wonderful deluxe gem selections. We're going to give you the chance to get a whole scoop for a very good price tag. We're going to give to you, oh, the Labradorite in this is amazing. Now, this is a very, very luxurious bead scoop. I want to look at the Labradorescence. I always think we should show these. Oh my gosh. You've got all this wonderful lapis lazuli. Wow. Look at this. I don't know if you can see how amazing this bead scoop is. Now the great benefit of buying the deluxe bead scoops is that sometimes it's hard to make a choice with the deluxe gemstones. And they are probably, out of all of our range, the um, gems of distinction are one of our most uh, considered uh, of all the strands. There's a reason for it, of course. The quality is the very, very best you can buy. These are the creme de la creme examples. Beautiful lapis lazuli in here. Stunning, stunning pink amethyst. Beautiful briolette cut. Briolette cut labradorites. You've also got amethyst in here, citrine in here. The quality is, is what it's all about with these bead scoops. You've got an amazing amount of variety. Look at that color. 
just amazing, absolute insanity. Now I'm going to just put these. You can you set gemstones into jewel enamel or friendly plastic? Yes, you can. Yeah, well, you can yeah. do it in friendly plastic. Yeah, you can you? into jewel enamel too. You can set it into your um, into your precious clays as well, your metallic clays. Now you can also make your own bezels from um, from polymer clay. I think this is just wonderful. Have a look. Look at all of these colours. Very, very Egyptian, aren't they? And I just think it's a great way. These have been very popular. A wonderful Christmas present these make. Have you got some jewellery made up out of these? This is a deluxe bead scoop stranded. Now everyone is going to be different because of the shapes and sizes. I have got three metres from a previous... That's not three metres, is it? No, a metre and a half. How many quarter? strands do you reckon's in there? One, two, three, four, five, six strands, I reckon. You get about six strands mm. in each scoop. Now, if, if we were erring on the side of caution and saying that the um, gems of distinction were 8.95, you're going to get an amazing deal. What's eight, uh, eight ninety five times six? Sorry about asking you maths questions. <laughs> so about fifty three pounds and fifty pence. So you could pay that and and buy buy lots of strands individually, or you could buy one of our deluxe speed scoops and get all of this for one tiny price tag of just 15 dollars So we're talking about value here. We're talking about quality and value by buying the deluxe bead scoops. Uh, just to let you know, the friendly plastic is very popular. If you're umming and ahhing, we will go back over there. You need to be thinking about making decisions, checking out baskets or unchecked baskets. You don't want to risk it. $15.95 for the deluxe speed scoop is incredible. Before we go to a break, we're going to try and squeeze in another little one for you. And I just think if you're buying this, you might want to make rosary chains out of them. And so I'm going to give you the perfect rosary links. And now, as you might or might not know, I am obsessed with rosarying everything. Rosary is my favorite, but there's a lot of wastage if you buy the regular, the regular eye pins. So we're going to give you the smaller eye pins. So this will prevent waste very quick to do and you don't have to keep snipping things as well which i do find a bit of a pain sometimes so these are going to save you time therefore saving you money these are rose gold on sterling silver aren't they beautiful they're the 15 mil so they're perfect for rosaries perfect for making little links and they're absolutely bang on trend because they're rose gold you get 50 of them that is more than enough to make a rosary bracelet you've got enough in there to make a rosary necklace so with your gems of distinction with your precious gemstones run these through and make that perfect delicate bracelet now this is one to buy in bulk you get 50 of them they're 6.95 liz do you consider this amazing value yes i do they're gorgeous and they just add such a lovely well, well, just a luxury to it all. And combined with those, I didn't realise that there were quite so many stones in one of those packs. Oh, gosh, yes, you get loads I in there. I just didn't realise that. It's really good seeing them actually put out as a fantastic long strand. It then is you, because you realise how much you yes. get. Now, you're going to need to check baskets out for these very popular. A lot of you multi-buying. We will be right back very shortly. So don't go anywhere. We've got more friendly plastic coming up. More wonderful demos for Liz. Get texting in your questions for Liz right now. We'll be right back. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. 
once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. Here at Jewelry Maker, we have many stages of quality control, from lab tests all the way through to our own in-house gemologists. We're confident with our quality, but we want to give you that peace of mind by offering you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Would you like to try a new hobby? Then why not give us a call on 0800 644 655 and we'll send you a free copy of our DVD and booklet to help you get started. You don't even need to make an order. Get involved with Jewelry Maker. Have a look at this beautiful strand. Don't you just need it as a necklace? I think it's just stunning. You have got that wonderful pink fizz in your quartz. Totally natural and utterly gorgeous. Oh, I love it. It's coming up for you very, very soon. Definitely one not to miss out on. Now, another one definitely not to miss out on. Now, we haven't had these back in stock for a long, long time. Have a look at this colour. Now, I think these make the perfect rings. We had these about six months ago, didn't we? Aren't they beautiful? Back in stock for the first time. So a brand new opportunity for you this season. And they are just heavenly. Now, I love the way that these are side drilled because it makes for a very easy ring. I love the way that these are extremely sizable. These would look amazing bezel set into your friendly plastic. Look at this color. Look at the texture. Have a look at what you've got here. An outstanding strand of absolute beauty. These are individual pendants. These are definitely great for rings. They are absolutely wonderful for chokers and bracelets. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, I'm going to count them for you. Now, let me just lay them down on here so I can count them. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 30. Right, so if these were 30 quid and you were selling them as rings, for two pounds, that's 60 pounds. Great profit. Great profit. They're not anywhere near 30 pounds. Nowhere near it. So is this therefore going to be a wonderful profit maker for you? Not just that. If you, just like me, don't sell your jewelry on, because I don't, I create for friends and family. I give as gifts. What a beautiful strand to give as a gift. Now, of course, we know Rose Quartz with the association of friendship and love. So what a wonderful gemstone to give to a friend. Rose quartz is also one of those gemstones that people recognize instantly. We see it throughout our lives growing up, don't we? We see this gemstone on the high street. You'll see this gemstone when you go to museums in the shops as a child, you bring it home to give as a gift to your mum with the pocket money that you were given. You know, it's a gemstone that triggers happy memories, I think, Rose Quartz, isn't it? It's a gemstone you see a lot in the, at the beach, on holiday, um, just in, in individual. I remember coming home with a little pouch uh, that had a, a tiny piece of Rose Quartz in it, tiny, 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 and I gave it to my mum with the spending money that I had on a coach trip that I went away at school you know it's one of those gemstones that we see growing up isn't it it really is a gemstone of happiness there's a lot of myth and legend behind rose quartz liz is rose quartz a gemstone you incorporate into your designs often um i have to say i, I love it but for me it's a very very pretty pale color and uh, i tend to go for the bolder brighter bigger 
think. I love the chunkiness of it, yes. I'm not soft and subtle, I'm afraid. But sometimes, though, <laughs> you need I, I am. Yes. I, well, actually, often, this is one yeah. of my favourite colours. I love subtle yes. greens of preonite. Yeah. And I love the subtle pinks of rose yes. quartz, and they go together beautifully, don't yes. they? And the other thing you have to remember is that you're not just making it for yourself. If you're making it for customers, they want subtle and beautiful and soft and feminine. This and is things. a wonderful point, Liz, because of course you're not making jewelry for yourself. You have to make sure you're catering for everybody. So just and off the back of that tack, if you are just creating soft and pale, think about making sure you're getting some bright, bold colours today. <laughs> Aren't these beautiful? Now I'm just looking for some. <gasps> Got the perfect strand to go with these. Oh yes. Look at that. I love this. We've got to do this afterwards. We are doing it. It is like a beautiful bouquet. Oh, I love it. It's, it, it's like apple blossom. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. You get 30 of them. Now remember, if I was giving you these even for 15 pounds, at 50p each that would be incredible would you be able to find big gorgeous statement pieces of rose quartz for 50p each anywhere else but here at jewelry maker i ask you and i think the answer is no right now i'm going to give you an incredible deal a beautiful strand brand new in today back in stock we haven't seen these for ever such a long time for nine pounds and 95 pence Lunacy is what it is. Absolutely gorgeous is what it most definitely is this strand. Get it in your eyes, but be quick. 0800 6 655 on the phone lines or the w's.jewelrymaker.com if you're shopping with us online. MMGP63 is your item code. Well done to everybody that's shopping with us today. Lots of you on the lines for these. Now we're going to give you. So what am I, number 10, isn't it? I just had to do... I just had to do this strand off the back of the rose quartz because these go gloriously together. Look at this fusion of colour. Just beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? They are, aren't they? Also, if you bought the Labradorite that we had earlier, I think that would go strikingly. Oh, I love that. Now, did you buy our metallic cords last night? If you saw them, woof, they flew. If you manage to grab them, you might want this because I've got cords, your satin cords together. Two wonderful um, strands of long shell teeth and you've got big, beautiful preonite. Now preonite, when we first launched it a couple of years ago, was on the expensive side of gemstones for a reason. It's a very beautiful gemstone and it used to be extremely hard for us to get hold of. Hannah Oxbury has made good friends from the supplier of preonite and this this is our reward. Well done, Lord Oxbury. Now, have a look at these. Now, this is such a beautiful blue. I'm thinking about this tying up a posy of a bridesmaid. It's very bridal blue, isn't it gorgeous? And you know my favorite color is green. I love this. So think about these chips and think about Shambhala style bracelets. Think about um, how Mark's been using these threads so much. It's a definitely the perfect macrame strand blend. Now you have got three Beautiful strands. Lord Oxbury's on the phone, is she? Oh, she's just confirming the friendship that she has with the Preonite supplier. We don't want to go into that right now, Hannah. We don't want to go into that right now. He's a good kisser, she says. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to have to find out about this. <laughs> yes, the pre and the night man is, is uh, good. He's better than the milk tray man, apparently. <laughs> now, <laughs> have a look. That's just the way Lady Oxbury rolls. Hannah does whatever she's got to do for you for the best prices. <laughs> RMG C02, Fresh Breeze. I like that name. It suits exactly what you've got here. Fresh Breeze. Are you going on holiday? Wouldn't this make lovely holiday jewellery? Oh my gosh, if you're not going on holiday, book a late one. Do we need to go on holiday with all this wonderful weather? Do we? No, we could just make jewellery. We could sit and make holiday jewellery. It's a lot cheaper than going on holiday, isn't it? And imagine if you do go on holiday and the weather's better over here. There's nothing worse, is there, than that. Are you ready? So we've got all this lovely texture. We've got wonderful colour. And we've got satin threads, 10 metres of each. And it's one mil in that satin silky cord. It took us ever such a long time to get hold of the satin cord because Hannah 
didn't make such good friends out of the cord man. But um, but the pre night man, it, there's a big thumbs up. Are you ready? She didn't impress the cord man. <laughs> 12.95 for all of this you'd pay that i'd pay that for the priya night alone knowing that i've got big substantial pieces of priya night of course i'll count them for you now this is a wonderful price tag as you can all see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one, two, three. 23 rings, this could be. 23 pendants. They're beautiful. They're very substantial. And I would use them in a nice chunky bracelet. I just, like I say, I love that silky cord. And I think you're getting an excellent, excellent. Do you know, Mark pays 70p a metre of the uh, silk cord before he could get it. Because we couldn't get it for ages. Like I said, Hannah wasn't brilliant at, at persuading the thread man. But I think it was a thread lady, that's why. That's where your problem was. <laughs> we need we, to get Ed on the case We then. need to get Ed on, or not, actually. <laughs> well, maybe Hannah Oxbury. <laughs> no, not really Ed, because he'll come down here in a minute. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we do still want to be able to get the thread, Liz. Um, <laughs> 12.95, yeah, we'll send Scott, we'll send Scott. <laughs> 12.95, not really, Ed will be exploding at that <laughs> upstairs. 12.95 is your price tag, fresh breeze. Oh, I love it, I do like this. Very, very popular. We're gonna do the black onyx right now, let's do it. Like I said to you earlier, this is the gemstone that I think will spring to everybody's mind. If you ask people to name a black gemstone, they'll say black onyx every time, I think. Um, actually, before I started here at, at, at Gems TV and then on to Jewelry Maker, of course, I, I, I didn't know much beyond black onyx. Black diamonds, maybe. Have a look at the facets. Now, this is a glamorous strand for those glamour pusses out there. Absolutely beautiful. I love black onyx. There's a reason the likes of Chanel, Gucci, Thomas Sabo, Lynx of London use black onyx because it's gorgeous. It's got a rich depth, but it's glossy. Glossy, rich, deep, and it's a solid black. Black agate is wonderful. Sometimes you get stripes in there. When you want solid black, glossy black, this is the one you go for. A lot of people ask me what's the difference between a lot of um, a lot of the black gemstones. There is a difference, and you can tell. Agate and uh, agate sometimes whispers a little bit of clarity in its blackness. Uh, tourmaline can be a little bit more matte. I think black spinel and um, black onyx are the sparkliest. Black spinel is sm more sparkly. Black onyx is glossy and glamorous. And this is a 30 centimetre strand. These are nine mil rounds. Not often we give you nine mil, is it? Eight and ten, six, eight and ten. Not often nine. So this is wonderful if you're trying to do a subtle graduation rather than a step graduation. Maybe you've already got eight mil and ten mil. Here's the nine mil to fill out the gaps. Wonderful contrasting gemstone. This will go with anything and is a stash major. Have this ready for your, uh, for your Christmas decorations. Have this ready for your glamorous pieces. An absolute essential for your glamorous pieces, isn't it? Are you ready for another Wicked Price Tag today? 210 carats, earrings, bracelets, necklaces, charms, 12.95 for Black Onyx. That is an incredible price tag. The quality and the cut are fantastic. The luster that you get is perfect, isn't it, for those glamorous pieces? London blue. Who's gonna look at me? London blue colour quartz. Now that is glamtastic, isn't it? Or maybe, maybe. Oh, I love this quartz. I love it. I love it. That beautiful with the black. <gasps> mm, it looks yummy. It just does. What about with the rose quartz? Gorgeous. Gemma Crow with her wish bracelets puts two rounds either side. Black onyx would be good, right? Be excellent. The shocking pink you had earlier on would be. Shocking pink. Would be eye popping. <laughs> These ones. Yes. yes. <laughs> that is a bit sexy, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> wow, those are pink, said Ollie. Wow, they, they are Ollie. You missed those, didn't you? 12.95 for Black Onyx. Well done to those that have got it. The code for you, LFG K85. Now, Gleam. 
I'm going to give you glee. Now, can I sniff them? <laughs> Have you ever smelt these? <laughs> Have you <laughs> smelt these? Ollie? Right, come and smell them and then t now you're, they're not, you'll understand why I love them. Oh, they smell amazing. <laughs> You do get you do get it on your nose though sometimes. <laughs> Ollie, it's not funny. <laughs> this is serious. They smell. I wish this was solid perfume because I'd be like that. <laughs> I'd have all those smudges around me. Have you yeah. ever seen The Witches by Roald Dahl on um, the one with Angelica Houston, yeah. where she puts the ointment on her neck and then um, <laughs> Rowan Atkinson goes to kiss her neck and, and it's all hairy where she's turning yes. into a mouse. <laughs> That's, that would be me. <laughs> With this. I don't think it has mouse turning properties though. Oh, does it not? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I love that film. Yes. I made my kids watch it and they were absolutely petrified. <laughs> it's a kid's film. They've read the books. <laughs> it's brilliant though. So you've got your gleams. Now gleams are wonderful, not just actually, let's take that black onyx strand and give it a gleam. They're not just great for um, for polymer clay and other things like that. They're great for gleaming your gemstones with, mm, aren't they? They are. I put far too much on my finger. Um, but you can actually just rub a gleam over, look, and gleam your strand up just to add some texture. If you let it um, go hard for, uh, say, 10, 15 minutes, then you can buff it up and you get a lovely shine. What, on gemstones? Yes, just, just whenever you use gleams, let them go dry and it might take well it depends how many coats you put on you can put on quite a few coats um but 10 minutes for that and, and uh, then you can give it a buff up and it, you have this lovely sort of satiny shiny finish which is a lovely contrast to the high gloss of the um of the stone not just for jewelry making lids you can use them in other crafts oh yes with uh, with anything you like with paper crafts you can use it um you can use it on metal and wood uh, it works particularly well it looks great on wood yes it looks great on yes. wood it does it really does mm. so if you're using um wood as a medium this is wonderful what else can i use it for sorry well, you I can use it on friendly plastic you can actually use it on some textiles as well can you? so yes a nice sort of uh, natural fibers pick up the the colour. If it's very, very absorbent, then it isn't. Hemp it cord absorb. then. Yes, be you can great use it on with that. This. On wire. That's another thing. I sometimes yes, colour the can use it on wire. Um, so you know they're very, very versatile, and they come in so many colours, and you can blend the colours just on the surface. You know, on yeah, the, you on can. Surface, they do look wonderful, yes. and they're great on polymer clay. Great yes. blended. You've got the peacock green. That's one that I want. <laughs> oh, isn't this brilliant? Isn't this wonderful? They're gorgeous colours. Aren't they mm. lovely? I've not seen this peacock green. That is lovely. Mm. Now, have you got anything with a bit of gleam on over there? Um, what about your... Um, is, the, is the mask gleam? Does anything... The mask doesn't actually have gleams on that. I had my piece... This piece has got gleams on. We're going to come over to you and actually have a demo on these okay. in a minute. Just, just, to, uh, just to, to warn you. <laughs> now, you these are normally <laughs> 9.95 each. <laughs> Which would be just under thirty pounds, wouldn't it? Fifteen p under thirty pounds. God, I'm good at maths today. I'm getting better. But I'm still stupid. Look, I am so stupid. Like sometimes Mia goes, "Can you help me with my home?" Actually, don't worry about it. I'll go to Google. Uh, <laughs> like that's how much I'm bad. Thank you. Oh, this is gleamtastic. So this is gleamed with all the different colours. Now I want to show you. Have a look at this, because this is how to change sludge into fudge. Look at that. Amazing. We don't isn't it gorgeous? Good enough to eat. Yeah, sludge into fudge. Fudge <laughs> is gorgeous, isn't it? Do you like that? Isn't it wonderful? Turn sludge into fudge. I love fudge. <laughs> I love fudge. My mum used to do old ladies' hair, and I used to go with them in the holidays. They used to always make fudge. Oh, wow. Not enough old ladies make fudge anymore. <laughs> I love fudge. I love fudge made by old ladies. It's done the proper way. <laughs> so you have got nine gleams that should be just 15 pence lower than 30 pounds. Oh, yes, we like that, don't we? We like yes. that. About just under a tenner yeah. off. 1995 isn't it amazing that's buy two get one free
Buy two, get one free. <laughs> That's what it is. Wonderful. And you will. Uh, can I just say these go on and on and on yes. and on and on. Mm -hmm. I I borrowed some of this from jewelry maker about a year ago. <laughs> I haven't even worn it down like you know how you wear um if, if it is anything like a cream it would wear down mm. no, it hasn't even got there i haven't yeah. even got right past it to the point where it's denting in yeah. yet <laughs> it's mad how long yeah. this lasts you yes. can have these for years can't you, you? can the one thing i think you do need to remember is um if they do dry out if you've left the lid off or not screwed up tightly just put a bit of terps on them yeah even if it's they rock hard you can still do this and pierce the the gleams with a cocktail stick that's the word I'm looking I for. I put mine in the microwave it wasn't a good idea. No it sort of cooks it you want to put the oil back into it. Yeah. Um, so the Terps actually works really really well. It's, uh, it's, it's a solvent it sort of loosens it all up again. I do do that a lot though Liz. <laughs> I do tend to think right microwave. The microwave isn't a magic box that no. <laughs> fixes things especially don't do what I did I dropped the listen this is the most stupid thing I've ever done. I'm on the phone <laughs> doing the washing up straight in I was like no oh, no my first instinct was quick put it in the microwave <laughs> that was not a good idea and set my microwave on fire oh, no. yeah I know I'm so stupid it smelt my whole house smelt revolting <laughs> you're not stupid just sometimes ditzy yes ditzy is what I am <laughs> yeah. my mum every day when I ring her she goes oh, what's happened and yeah. my uh, ringtone on the phone is there may be trouble <laughs> ahead when I ring uh, which is just an insult really now Probably what are we going to gonna see right now yeah I'm just <laughs> going to show you that's a gleam spot that I've resuscitated with terps oh actually I like the look of that yeah and that was literally just poking it with a kebab stick no not kebab you know, um, cocktail stick and then uh -huh. just putting the terps in closing it up leaving it overnight and then just I did it repeated it a couple of times and then it's fine and then it's fine yeah. what are you asking sorry Laura can we see what do you want to see how would we add can you add gleam to something that we've got yes. that isn't gleamed now okay I was did this from the two molds we've got here so let's she's saying gleam Jenny yeah. <laughs> I'd well, look better yeah. the more the more you put on my face here the better no don't <laughs> over. You can do my lips. No, I won't. It's not good to eat. I've had it on my um, nose before. It took me ages Just to get, get off. off. Yeah. Particularly when it's gone dry. Yeah, it's, yeah. it wasn't the, the regular. You could use it as eyeshadow. No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. No, I'm you not going to say no, that. Don't because do that. Don't put it near your eyes. <laughs> no, don't. It's not. It's not. It's not something you would consume or put no, on your no, face. No, no, no. It Leave smells it on your good. Fingers, that's yes. as far as it's going. This is just um, a little piece from these two molds that you know sets that we've got earlier yeah. on. It's the cat that we did and also the, one of the cabochons. I, I just love noticed, that cat. Yeah, the moulds have got fantastic little instructions that come with them and oh, ideas, do. which I hadn't really spotted before. They do. And they give There's you sizes. There's a there. Yeah. So, they so those are your new moulds. Yeah, they're really good. The details for Gleam is there and the uh, friendly plastic starter kit. Right, can I just say something about the friendly plastic starter kit? We launched the friendly starter plastic, the friendly plastic starter kit, uh, a while ago, a couple of months ago, probably three or four months ago. May, May, it was, it was May, May anyway, um, yes. And it was twenty four ninety five. Today it's twenty four ninety five again. But you didn't have the DVD last time. You do have the DVD this time. Same price, even more <laughs> value for money. That's really, it's very, very good value for money. That so is. What have you gleaned? Just gleaned. I've just put a little bit of gleams on this little cat. A little bit say, of blue. The, yeah, this was the, from that mould there, and I did what we did earlier on with the, um, the head pin. Okay. And just to show you, you can just keep adding a bit of colour as well. It's going to go wherever you've got um, highlights, raised bits. So you can just keep adding. I like that gold against the copper. Yeah, this it works really well. And can we just hold it up? That's just it. Just show it to you see there? Kerry Laura. And I can just add a little bit of a water to around the sides. Um, if you're quick and you, if you, just, you don't like what you see, you can actually wipe some of it off quickly, Ooh. but not necessarily 100%. Okay. So I wouldn't be able to get all of that blue off now, but I might be able to get a little bit of the gold off. What are you asking, Laura? Can she mix the gleams? Yeah. You, you oh, no, you do do that. You absolutely yeah, do. Yeah, that's how you, you build do up. You do do. Where's that other little piece? There? You do do that. So, um, probably we left it I over left there. I left it over there. Yeah, I'll go and get mind. it. I'll, you you yeah, carry on you that. Mix, I'm going to chop. <laughs> you can mix on the surface. This is perhaps not the best one to show you on, but I will get you get another colour that's in contrast. You do do mixing. Yeah, you definitely do mixing. That was the most pathetic run ever. <laughs> I've got like 20 inch heels yeah. on, baby. Seriously? Uh, I'm just, gonna, just this is really rough. Okay. Okay, so it, Liz is just adding just a tiny bit of pink I to love this that on top. Smell. 
There you go. You sniff that, and I'll get Thanks. the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've not been very neat Story here. Story of my life. <laughs> but you can see you can just keep building up. It's often quite good to let things dry off. If I turn it, oops, always turn it the wrong way. Um, if you let things dry off in between, and then you can just build up the layers. And do you so, see how it actually brings out the? 3D effect. The textures, most Isn't definitely. it amazing? Yeah. I love that cat, isn't it? This is <laughs> wonderful. I am a massive fan of Friendly Plastic and I know Gemma Crow literally, <laughs> she loves it. Now I'm going to give you another little example. I'm going to scoot around and show you what you can create out of Friendly Plastic. It's so exciting to have something so brand new. Now with the starter kit is $24.95. And, it, and this time you're getting more than the last time when we launched it, in fact, because the DVD wasn't ready. This time we're going to give you the DVD. Look at these. I mean, it's easy to do. Trinket boxes to put your jewellery in. Can you imagine making jewellery and you've made the trinket box to go with? How fabulous. Look at these earrings. They're little books. Aren't they wonderful? Did you buy your felt yesterday? You can incorporate felt along with your friendly plastic. Have a look. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> Just wonderful. It, I like the contrast of the soft um, felt and the sort of the fuzziness of the felt with the hardness and the, the shine of the friendly plastic. Me too. It's a lovely mixing textures, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's a, it's a contrast, a game of contrasts. Have a look, friendly plastic here. Here's the starter kit, everything that you get for 24 95 Remember, when we launch this, got goggly eyes in that one look at this all sorts of things pressed into friendly plastic and when we launched this it wasn't with the DVD today it's the same price with the DVD so what am I doing uh, Laura you want to see the vase how to start the vase oh, right so we're not doing fish earrings we're going to do the vase <laughs> what are we going we're going to do? do we're going to do both we're doing fish earrings first and then, then we're going to start all the right vase. then we'll yes Show yeah, you Laura's some of it. getting so excited. <laughs> it's all right, Laura. I was like this the first time I saw Friendly Plastic. She stood up and she's doing little dances like at Christmas when you get the tiny tears that you wanted. Uh, that's what's happening right now. Uh, right, okay, so we're doing fish earrings. We're going to make some little fish earrings. These are super cute. And <laughs> they're double sided. Double sided fishies. <laughs> Are and they they're just amazing. a bit of fun. I was thinking, you know, because you, Christmas, you had Christmas yesterday, didn't you? We did. These I are great gifts. So, yes, and this is actually so quite summery. We're back to summer again. It is July. It is summer. It yeah. is, yes. But they yes, would make so these good, are great good gifts. gifts in the middle of winter as Definitely. well. Definitely. <laughs> so what, what I've got, I'm doing this larger scale just because it's easier for you to see rather than Okay, so you at home won't fiddly. need to use this much. No, you okay, actually, thanks. for those, ear, those earrings, I use triangles that size. Okay. So does that make sense for yes. the, the, there? rather than the big ones I'm Okay, so we are you we're doing this on a larger just scale just, just to, make to it reiterate easy. just to show you for the purpose yes. of the demonstration. Okay. So I'm going to heat these in hot water. I'm going to heat the edges, just the edges in hot water. Okay. So I'm going to take the edges and I'm just holding them in the hot water for about the count of five ish. Okay. Don't forget that water's only sixty to seventy degrees centigrade, so it shouldn't be any hotter than that. And then I slide them together. I love this. Look, look, fusioning together. Look, look. And so it's a join. heating the edges and sliding them together. There's, the, there's join. your join. And I've already done um, the other, the other fish, the other half. So what we now to need to do is put them back to back. So I'm going to turn them over and let's just dry this off because I don't want water in between. Just make sure they're nice and dry. And we're going to put them back to back, and I really still want them to oh, be. Oh, oh, oh! This is to make it 3D. Yes, yeah, so, so what have are you doing? Just pressing sided. them. No, I'm going to. I might turn them that way so that we've got different things. Okay. I'm just going to do the same thing again. <gasps> okay. Hot water. Dip, dip. Don't let them touch. Do you need tweezers, water. or are you good? No, just with fingers, because if you okay. put tweezers on there, you're likely to mark the surface. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So, I'm going to just now put these together, and then this pressing is now. Down. Yeah, press them together so that you can see that they're mostly together then it's go they're going to go into the hot water and then this just takes a few moments to soften completely um, because obviously it's two layers thick so is that better can we see that now if it's in the hot water fabulous do you know these workspaces are never big enough oh I know I know well it's <laughs> me look I'm, I'm putting all of this stuff out everywhere I'll move it along for you so you've got okay. a bit more room you want it to be um, nice and soft okie dokes I'm just being very careful. I don't want my needle tool to touch the bottom of the um, of the because it'll scratch it. Yes, that's right. So I'm just now easing together the edges. 
just to make them a little bit neater. Just manipulating around the edges. With my Look finger. at that wonderful colour. Okay, so that was very gentle, just, just stroking down with my fingers. I'm going to put that into cold water briefly. Okie dokes. So it's going over there. And that cold water would then help to solidify um, the friendly plastic it, it, quicker. It just speeds up the process a little bit. It does. So if, if time is money, for so many of us it is, uh, then, uh, th then that's a great thing to have on the side there. Yes. Now I've just put the tail pieces two back to back, mm -hmm. just in the same way. Okie dokes. Okay, and I just want to soften those as well. And we'll just check this is nice and uh, ready to use is if you use the cold water you'll find it so much easier you'll find it you're much less likely to have um, lots and lots of fingerprints over everything okay because it cools it down and when it's cold of and course, then you can mini then you can touch it and yes stuff and it's not going yeah. to because when you touch it when it's hot uh, then you've got fingerprints everywhere okay okay so that's the the, the tail and um, the Body. Do you need to make sure your hands are clean before you do this? It's probably a good idea, but yeah. I, I've always got jewel enamels or alcohol inks or something Sometimes on it. it's a good thing. Yes. You're like, oh, where did that come from? Exactly. Don't know, but I like it. <laughs> it is a good idea to try and get rid of the glitter if you can. Yeah, because that uh, never goes. Yeah. Glitter's quite hard. You've got to hoover glitter off. Yes. Okay, that's going in the cold water briefly. So we now have the two pieces. Um, and we're going to put the two together. See, so the colder the water, the quicker it hardens and um, means you can get moving more quickly. Right, okay. I'm just going to check which way around I want to do that so that I've got the different colours on all sides. Um, that's going to be, I think actually, I might turn that that way just because I've got a little black bit there that's showing. Oh, and you can, you can think to yourself, right, okay, I'm going to just uh, conceal that. Yes, but, and I'm going to join the two okay. together. So just hold the little bits that I'm going to join together in the hot water for a few moments. And then I'm going to push them together. check on both sides okay I'm gonna cool that down in the cold water in the cold water again because I want everything to be cold before we I'm can see it again. coming together now can't yeah. we we can see it <laughs> forming into a fishy now yes and just to give you an idea to remember this is what we're creating these lovely fishies <laughs> tropical fishies what I want to do is is add a little bit of color to the edges I love them. Um, because if you notice on these fish, which I seem to have managed to twist all around, um, they've got a foil around the edge. Can you see that? So that you don't see the black, you see foil. Yes. Oh, how did you do that? I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to Actually, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm going to give you two options. I don't hate the foil. I don't hate the frame. No, I don't mind the, the black I don't, either. I, don't, I like it. Sometimes it's nice to have colour. To color. conceal it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, All the way around. Yeah, yes. I agree. With a fish, it's probably best. Yeah. To. So you're using your heat gun. Again, not essential. You can dip. But it's quicker it's, to use your yes. heat gun. To be honest, for the with this, it's actually much better to use the dry heat. Okay. So you could, if you wanted to, touch the bottom of a dry skillet. What's a skillet? Well, you could use this as well without any water in. Just touch it to the bottom. Oh. As long as this gets like hot. Like your hob. Like your, yeah. I've got a big arm. I've got an arger. Yeah, go. you could do it. Yes, as long as it doesn't. You just do it quickly. I turned it off for the summer, though. But I would put one of these on <laughs> okay. first. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, that would. Because okay, you don't want yeah. it to stick. All you okay. want is that to get hot and sticky. So I'm going to turn that high, just heat it briefly, don't want it to be too hot and then I've got a little bit of transfer foil. Oh, where, where do I get this from? On the website? There's loads I've all got, over the I've place. got some for nails actually, yeah. it's the same stuff it is, isn't it? absolutely and you can get transfer foil in lots of places. Yes. So. Okay, so then you peel it off and you have colour down easy, the Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I could heat it a bit more and put more colour on if I wanted to. But the other thing you could do is if I open this in readiness, this is the mica powders because we haven't used the mica powders yet. So I'll just put them... I've got a mica powder bundle coming uh, up for you. <laughs> um, just to reiterate, $24.95, you are getting the DVD. It's the previous price tag, but you're getting more, which is incredible. Yeah, really $24.95, I'll have some of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, heat this again. I'm heating the other side of it. Okay. Don't need it to be too much. Just enough to make it uh, tacky. And then you can just brush the mica powders Oh, I like on. it. That's easy. Very, That's very easy. easy. And we, we can easily get mica powders from here, yes. a jewellery maker as and well. And if you notice, can you see the difference? That's the mica powder edge. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's more translucent. And then that's the, the shinier 
um, foiled edge. Yeah, I can see. So it's up to you what you like. You can also use a gold like you know, or a permanent, you know, the gold leafing pens and things yes, like that. Yes, yes, yes. But you know, I'm really, really messy with those and I end up putting it all over my fingers. I quite like them. Um, <laughs> but I end up sort of doing my signature on a black paper yeah. <laughs> pointlessly and thinking, this is great, look at this, wow. And then I've run it out and I'm like, oh. Well, I end up transferring it all to my fingers and then to the surface. Or you write it in a card, you shut the card and then you're like, no. <laughs> yes, we too soon. <laughs> I've put the whole fish back in the hot water which I think I need to top up, but um, we'll, we'll go with this at the moment. That should be enough. The whole fish with the mica powder, that's all right, Yeah, that's it? fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> and now you can really see it coming together. And actually, you can think about this fish on a pendant, on a card. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you know, um, Liz has done this amazing book. And look at the vase. And just imagine <laughs> now, just imagine your craft fair that's coming up. Isn't this going to look amazing? <laughs> Absolutely, I don't, well, you know what? I want it in my house. How <laughs> fabulous. I mean, with some dry flowers, that is yes. going to be amazing. Yes. You can also, if you do it around something, you can actually leave the something in there. So um, if you did it around a glass vase, you could leave the glass vase in there, and then you would, wouldn't have all the holes for the water to leak out of. Mm, genius. <laughs> Which would be a problem with this one. Genius. <laughs> I like it without the glass. I, I, I think with clear glass or some red glass or some red, red glass, that would look amazing. <laughs> OK, I need to red just do this off. quite quickly. Um, so if you okay. can see, I'm just literally just bending it now that the... Just the, to make him look like he's moving. Yes, uh, just a little. And when you've got him the way you want him to be, put How him straight into the cold water. Oh, OK, but what, will I lose but, my wiggle? No. The wiggle, I won't lose it, my wiggle. It fixes the wiggle. That's why the cold water is so necessary for this, because it, it just holds it there. So. You've got your wiggle. I didn't lose my wiggle. You didn't lose your wiggle. <laughs> I would, of course, have foiled all the way around the edge, but we've got wiggle. I like it with the frame, though. Yeah. And what about the eyes? What have you we're used? Going to, we're going to do the eye, but we can also do a little fin. Should we just do a little fin? Oh, yes, fin? let's do a fin. So that's what a little word piece. Thin. Yeah. <laughs> a little thin. piece in the hot water. And um, we're going to just let that heat up for a second. But what we have to do is make this warm to receive the, the fin. fin okay otherwise if it's hot plastic onto cold it isn't a permanent join okay it needs to be yes hot to hot. okay i can see that you want to it's the it's something to do with particles and yeah sciencey things they both it? need to be sticky basically so it doesn't need to be too long just to make that bit soft but if you, you if you overheat you could um well mess up your design a little so Put that on there. Oh, his little fin. And now you're going to texture ours. Yes. Heat mat and uh, heat gun are on the bottom together. They're twenty-two ninety-five. Great investment. Okay. So uh. there's your little, your little fish. You do the one on the other side as well. And I love friendly plastic so much. <laughs> the, uh, seriously, I mean, you've I'm gone from fish to mask. I mean, these are amazing things that you're creating together with gemstones as jewelry yes. as ornaments oh this yes is parts of wonderful. costume all sorts of things so you know headpieces collars oh, anything you like I, I just think this is outstanding do you know i went to a mask ball i got my mask from just a party shop yes 25 pounds wow. honestly oh well to make one i mean that wouldn't that that would that probably took about well four four quids worth of plastic tops so four quids worth of plastic yes. <laughs> i've got a picture of Suits me on the, on my facebook page with my mask on it it cost <laughs> blimkin loads yes. and it was rubbish <laughs> this is amazing what you do need is a wig stand you know a polystyrene yeah. head yeah you can get them in hairdressing shops yes and that's what i molded my masks around because they're the right um oh, you know they yes. actually fit heads don't they Yes. I've just heated that up a little bit with hot water so I can just What about if I did a mould of my face with the um, black cloud clay you, and then went over that? You, but it would be inside out. I am inside obsessed out. with sticking my face <laughs> in that black cloud clay. <laughs> I want to witness this. <laughs> there are things I want to stick in that black cloud clay, I tell you. Okay. Now, I just cool that off now. <laughs> um, it will be inside out. That will give you the... Because you put it over your head oh and then yeah so the then shape I've got, be, but then yes. i could pour something in it to yes make, yeah and then you could yes and then it would fit i want to do that just to see exactly how people are looking at my massive nose just to see whether They're it's not, as big it's as i think massive. it is but this is the great thing you can pour <laughs> i can make myself my own nose and i could put it from side view and think yeah we well, got make problems a prosthetic nose and make it bigger if you wanted to oh never mind. no <laughs> why would i do that <laughs> well, it, it isn't big it really isn't oh, okay God. we're going to make an eye this is just to show you how easy it is to get a hold of friendly plastic so okay so hang on a minute earlier on we were talking about jewel enamel can be quite brittle friendly plastic not so no it's very very uh -huh. flexible honestly i made a, a sort of a shallow plate once a sort of a little 
sort of dishy thing and I accidentally sat on it and it was fine. <laughs> yes, I sat on it and it was still fine, so that's impressive. <laughs> you can make plates? Yes. Do you know how boring my garden plates are right now? <laughs> I get them on their paper so I don't have to wash them up. I don't I even wash them yeah. up. <laughs> I said this to me the other day. They're paper, darling, because I don't want to wash them up. And he went, well, you don't wash up. You put them in the dishwasher. I was like, listen, they go in the bin. Brilliant. And no effort needed. But they these are, would look good. Yes, but they are decorative ones, I have to say, mostly. I mean, although friendly plastic is completely non-toxic, but it's not, um, you know, if you use it a lot, you'll find the foil surface will come off unless you seal it with a clear acrylic sealant which okay, is what I do with all my jewellery. Fabulous. Now I've got, okay. a, I've got to launch another kit so very okay. quickly we're going to finish off the Fiji. This is just you just make a hole with the eye, for the eye and you can keep going through with, with bigger and bigger things or just wiggle it about to get an eye Very hole. flexible indeed. Yes and then what I often do is put a little bead in. Put a bead in. Yes. Job done. Yep. Brilliant. So there you go and you can make a hole in the top and hang it as a pair of earrings. So I love it. One little fishy thing. I love it. <laughs> now I'm going to do something extremely cheeky, and I know w w what can I do that's more cheeky than that's already been done. I'm about to tell you. I'm going to take my tea, and I'm going to do something cheeky. You need to be on the phone lines now because the deal I'm about to give you is I'm going to be honest with you. I, I like to uh, I like to crown myself the queen of the night show where I give you the best <laughs> deals ever. It seems that somebody sneaky that goes by the name of Laura has been stealing my thunder. Rose Garden is such a beautiful kit. We have solid sterling silver findings and this kit is going under 30 pounds. You need to be on the phone lines now when you see what you've got. I want you to think about how this can work for you as gifts, how this can work for you in business, how this can work for you in your designs. Look at the size of this rose quartz. Tell me again what, how much money you're going to do this for. You're insane. Okay, it's not going under 30, it's going under 25, which is still under 30, but majorly, majorly under 25. You get two double strands, clear quartz and rose quartz. You've got this gorgeous shell. Now, wouldn't you agree that this is just such a heavenly combination of gemstones? I love this. You can make simple, you can make really big impact. Now you are getting all you're getting all of these gemstones for under £25 with solid sterling findings. Now you are also going to get three lots of wax cord, including your blue. Is it three lots or two lots? Two lots, your blue and your silver. And those are five meters each. You're also going to get five meters of baby blue, five meters of topaz blue ribbon. You're also going to get your blue beading pack. I love this kit. You've got your deep blue beading thread. You've got your blue elastic and your monofilament there. You've got solid sterling silver findings. So what is this in your mind? Wouldn't this be a steal at $24.95? You've got, oh stop, stop. You're, you're, you're so stupid. Do you know why? Laura, you, do, you can't do... Can I just say, can I just say, the regular kit without the heart chain is $14.95 on its own. You've got the heart chain. So what's this, what's this silver with the heart chain is $17.95, isn't it? You, you are going to get in major trouble for this, Laura. You are about to get the deal of the week. You are about to get a better than night show price tag. You are about to get the most ridiculous price tag I've ever seen. Solid sterling silver. This, isn't this silver worth seven? It's 14.95 without the chain. Even if the chain was only three quid. 17.95, it's short. I mean, this, that is worth so, it's silver. The chain is, stop, 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 stop. No, because you've done something else ridiculous. I've just, look at the findings pack again. You're gonna, you, look what you've done. There's the toggle clasp is in there as well, you blooming bloomer. It's very hard not to say swear words when she's done. You, you are a mentalist. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, stop it, hang on, stop. $14.95 is the price tag without the toggle clasp and the um, heart chain 
for the silver alone, right? Now, you've also got that wonderful beading pack. You've also got the thread, right? So cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. In our minds, if I'm giving you this kit for 30 pounds, you're getting an incredible value. No, we started the findings pack at 14.95. It then got price slashed to 12.95. The original price for the findings pack is 14.95. Now, that is, but it's 12.95 a price slash, but that is the basic without the heart chain and the toggle clasp and they're solid sterling silver on their own. Look, if this chain was on the high street, we'd think about 30 quid solid sterling silver bracelet, easy. Then you've got the toggle cut. Now, when we're talking value, this is setting value on fire. Look, you have got two lots of the wax cord. You've got the findings. You've got the chain, the toggle class. You've got two double strands and a single strand. You're not going to believe this price tag. Now, you need to stay where you are on the phone lines because as soon as people see this price tag, on they will go. This is going to be major for you. Major at just 19.90. $17.95, you worm, $17.95, you have got yourself an Uber deal. Listen, $24.95 for silver is a price tag we think is amazing here at Jewelry Maker. I would stand behind any kit with sterling, sterling silver findings and say that $24.95 was a fantastic deal. Wonderful value every single time. And I believe that. $17.95, we're giving it away. You are making such an amazing, amazing saving here. This isn't something I'm going to be able to promise to repeat ever. NVG C42, this kit is exclusive to today's show. So if you are watching right now, if you're watching on the repeat, grab it, grab it, grab it. Approaching, how many, what percentage of the stock has already gone, sorry? Approaching 50% of the entire stock has gone and sold out. Have a look at the jewelry that was created by Sue. Oh, wow. Now, if you're experiencing engaged tones, hang up and redial. Now look, this is, this is what I do. This is exactly what Sue's done, just made a bracelet out to the, uh, that's exactly what I would do. Now that is a solid sterling bracelet. I would not sell that for any less than 40 pounds because you would be underselling yourself. Solid sterling silver, absolutely I would. Because if you go, and you've got the rose quartz on there as well with that heart theme because of the love, the everlasting love with rose quartz. Now this is gorgeous. Listen, how long would that take to make? Not long, five minutes. How much money could you make? You know what? I actually think you have got yourself the most amazing money maker here. That is definitely my opinion. I think this is beautiful with that rose chain. I can't do it up myself. Seriously, this is going to sell out, I think. You need to be quick. What an amazing kit. What an amazing price tag. Value personified is what we're talking about. I think you could make yourself, uh, if they, oh, by the way, if this is the first kit you've ever bought, we're going to give you 30 day money back guarantee, even if you make the jewellery up and you don't love jewellery making, you send it back, we'll still give you your money back. You're also going to get, that's only on your first ever kit, you're also going to get a free tutorial DVD, a free step-by-step -step book, a JM Hub magazine every month. You get so much, $17.95. This is a wonderful, wonderful kit for you. Uh, do you know what? It's just beautiful colours, beautiful gemstones exceptional value it's the best value I've seen in ages now when you have put together your jewelry and you're looking at it and you're proudly thinking I like what I've done and don't you love that feeling I like what I've done take a picture of it send it to studio at jm.com a jewelrymaker.com and send it to the wall of fame just like all of these wonderful JM JMers did have a look at this <coughs> Liz, I love this part. I love looking at everybody's designs. I and please, too. friendly plastic, I want to see it. Yes. <laughs> Number 72, very monochrome. And look at the labradorus, it's amazing. Uh. And it's from Susie in Aberdeen. Susie says, hi, this is my wall of fame entry this week. I used a tube of labradorite and moonstone I bought last month from the deluxe gem selections. I actually had enough to make two sets like this. I still have some gems left to add to another piece in the future. This is just going to show, isn't it, the value that you get 
with those deluxe uh, bead scoops. You're number 72, uh, Susie. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's got gorgeous, thank you. It really is. That's a very good photo of it as well. I it think. is, and look, I love yeah. um, butterfly back and post earrings. Yes, yes. Okay, this is number 75, um, and from Sarah Corley. She says, morning all at JM. Please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a monochrome memory wire bracelet using faceted agate from JM and a heart charm from my stash. I hope it's good enough for the Wall of Fame. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I love monochrome. Yes. You can wear it everywhere. Yes. Look at this Nesta in Swansea. Have a look at this. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. I love that with a maxi dress with look amazing. Good morning, everyone, says Nesta. Here, my best effort at making a sculpy clay necklace. Amazing, Nesta. Uh, I am a bead and wire person, really, but I watch and record all Debbie's demos and have both of her DVDs. I just can't seem to get a good finish on the edge of my beads. They look attractive, but don't have that professional finish. I need to come on Debbie's course. Come, come, come. <laughs> uh, looking forward to the third DVD. Absolutely love your shows. Your guest designers never fail to amaze me with their inventive creation and all your presenters are a breath of fresh air. Thank you, Nesta. Uh, looking to you for sunshine on this grey, humid morning. Is it grey and humid out there? Is it? It was sunny when I came in. Was it sunny? Yeah, beautiful. Depends on, it's, if you're in Swansea, yeah, like Nesta, true. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, this is number 76, and it's from Vicky Massey. She says, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a stretch rutile quartz bracelet mm. with Adventurine and Jasper, all from JM, attached with eye and head pins from my stash. I'm enjoying watching the Christmas in July show online on the first day of my son's summer holiday while he watches the TV snuggled under a blanket feeling poorly. Oh, oh. no, not in the holidays. No. Uh, often managing not to get ill uh, all year at school and getting 100% attendance. Oh, so well done. He saved it all up and yeah. then it's all cut out. <laughs> Suzanne, looking, for, looking out for a kit we can do together when he's feeling better. Friendly plastic. Yeah, that Friendly would be the plastic, thing. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, Vicky, uh, isn't it lovely to get the kids involved? Yeah, well, I hope he gets better soon. Me too, yeah. little lambkin. That's so unfair. <laughs> I hope you're better, my darling. Uh, number 74, look at this slave bracelet. Oh, it's wow. lovely. <laughs> Tracy Woodward in Sheffield says, Hi to all at JM. Wow, 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 as Kylie would say. Uh, what can I say? Wonderful, beautiful gems. I want them all. My wall of fame entry is a foot thong made with white shell pearl, elastic from JM, and seed beads, all from my ever-growing stash. My daughter kindly modelled this for me, and I've had a good response from people wanting to buy some. Um, Thank you to all of your wonderful designers and crew for an awesome, inspiring, creative show. Uh, Tracy Woodward in Shepherd, thank you so much. I love these, and it's lovely to see something so different. How gorgeous! It is are gorgeous. These. It does make a foot look really lo long and long elegant. Long and gorgeous. Too. She's got that Cheryl Cole <laughs> tattoo as well. How lovely! Number seventy-four. It's great. I love that. Right now, the details that are on your screen are for that very cheeky kit. At 17.95, you need to make sure you're very quick with that one because it was cheeky. Ed's just come down and told Laura off. <laughs> I'll stick it. I got you back, Laura. I got you back. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go and uh, put Ed in a famous creamy headlock while uh, you get to have a look at some treats. We're going to have that gorgeous, gorgeous pink sparkly quartz after this. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Add to your collection with our Sculpey Clay Basics DVD, full of handy tips and hints for all levels. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she teaches us how to create basic canes, kaleidoscope canes, bead shapes, and much more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Come and join guest designer Laura Binding on our Cuffs and Bangles workshop. Laura will guide you through how to design a combination of cuff styles and shapes, as well as techniques including wrapping and weaving. The full course includes a range of different gauges of wire, a bead scoop bag, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a visit to our museum. All of this for 79 95 
For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Would you like to try a new hobby? Then why not give us a call on 0800 644 655 and we'll send you a free copy of our DVD and booklet to help you get started. You don't even need to make an order. Get involved with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Pink champagne quartz is definitely what I'm dubbing this gorgeous gemstone. The natural inclusions, bringing it to life. If previously to now, your, your strand of rutile quartz has always been, your favorite strand has always been golden rutile quartz. And for me, that's always been the case. This is a very, very, very high competitor. I would mix the two together. I think this is absolutely striking signatic quartz is quartz that has natural spear like inclusions that make the gemstone incredibly beautiful now this strand offers us the most incredible color the most incredible texture look inside each one of these gemstones and you see something different each and every time these wonderful teardrops will see themselves into so many many of your designs i think just on their own as a necklace these are wonderful think about them spaced out with pearls white pearls would look exceptional with these with the last kit that we bought you this will be an amazing addition now if you've got an open basket you're not going to pay the extra pmp Think about, think about how well this is going to look together with your designs. Think about how simple it's going to be to restrand this and make that necklace. Think about how wicked this is going to look with that silver, real silver I would use with these, silver wire, make your own bezel, make your own loop there's a pendant. They are brand new. You have never seen anything like this strand before. So let's talk. A gemstone that we find extremely difficult to get hold of. A gemstone that is natural, beautiful. Signatic quartz is something that is very new to us here at Jewelry Maker, especially in this colour. Now, I am absolutely head over heels in love with Golden Rutile Quartz, and just thinking about blending these two together would make my dream piece of jewellery. I love it. So it's a gemstone that is going to be a bit of a considered purchase. It's a gemstone that is going to certainly be placed in your high-end collection. It's a gemstone that is extremely hard for us to get hold of, like I just mentioned. And let's talk about the shape. Make that flower, make that brooch easily. Just pulling your monofilament through the tops knotting them gorgeous i would absolutely recommend these as individual pendants think about them together with that heart chain i'm going to count them for you now these are mirror graduated so they will be um perfect for putting in pairs just the center one is the largest which is the only one that you can't pair up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen eleven twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven 27 so you use a large one as a pendant and then you've got 13 pairs of earrings perhaps 
These are just stunning, cascading them down from a gorgeous piece of chain. A Gems of Distinction exclusive strand that has never been seen here before at Jewelry Maker. EEG K52 is your item code, 120 carats. I thought this was going to be a considered purchase, missus. Eleven ninety-five is not a considered purchase, is it? It's. Not, no, I can't buy a takeaway for that. Eleven ninety-five. You know what a great. Do you know what? Definitely buy two. Liz is saying buy two. When you see gemstones like this, Liz, when you see these wonderful inclusions and they're so different to anything we've seen, mm. is this something because of them being different? I know you don't normally go for soft colours, but these are so unique. Is this something you would get in your stash? I would most definitely. I think if there are any left, I'd definitely have them. They're gorgeous. They are so beautiful. unusual, so, so unusual. Thinking about putting these um, sort of the opposite way up to what you'd think in a tiara, you know, like oh, standing yes. them proud in a tiara. A feature in the centre of a yeah. tiara stood up with the um, larger side pointing up towards the sky. Eleven pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. This is an incredible strand. A beautiful, beautiful strand for £11.95. pence. Just gorgeous. Uh, there are lots of you on the phone lines. Please bear with those cues. They're subtle, they're soft, they're pretty. They make great gifts, easy to make gifts as well. If you are quite a new jewellery maker and you're looking to use more um, gems of distinction strands and you want the ones that are going to easily make impact jewellery, then this is the kind of strand that you want. £11.95 is your price tag. 0800 644 655. EEG K52 is your item code. Now... I'm going to give to you a little bit of a recap on the toggle clasps because uh, people have been asking if they can see them again. You can. So have a look. We've only got a few remaining, of course, but I'm going to give you that, um, that last chance offer. So here we go. You have got your toggle clasps, 100 pairs. Of toggle class. Now these can be used in incorporate. This is a trade deal for you. These can be used in, in incorporation with bracelets, necklaces, but also things like earrings. You can also use them, of course, uh, they are great for using together with your um, cufflinks. They're fabulous for that. You could hang one of these off a toggle class for a feature, one of those gemstones, couldn't you, that we just gave you the, the quartz? That would look fab. Now, these are going to be coming to you at a trade deal. Um, the individual price tag that we worked out for these was crazy. How much would you pay for one finding? If you were going to um, have to, I mean, in an emergency sometimes, we all have to do this, go to that big craft store. You know which one I mean? But how much would, would uh, a toggle class be in there for one? What do you reckon, Liz? Well, you can often spend a pound per, per toggle clasp for a, a lot of these things. That would be £100 for these yeah. then. Crikey. So. Oh dear. You might get, say, two for a pound with those particular well, on that, ones. They're on that, beautifully simple and elegant. They'd still be 50 quid. Exactly. And that, you're saying that that would be a good deal if you got that, two for That pound. would be a perfectly normal deal. So. I think they I just think that's fantastic value and I would use them as decorative elements as well because I just think they're so lovely. Yeah, put them at the front of necklaces. Yeah. They don't have to be hidden at the back. No. Okay, so on that basis, the deal I'm about to give you is banana ramas in pajamas. 19.95 that's 90 what was that? How much 19p a toggle clasp? 20p a, to a toggle. <laughs> For the 20p a toggle on your toggles now. <laughs> uh, this is a, definitely a trade deal for you. An incredible deal for you at £19.95. So 800 644 655 JLG P71. If you're creating jewellery to sell on, this is definitely your deal. If you're creating jewellery to make us Christmas presents, this is definitely your deal. A while stocks last offer at £19.95. 800 644 655 now, I'm going to move on and give to you. Uh, actually, before I do that, if um, you don't mind, Laura, my darling, Laura of the Dora Variety, I am going to... Laura, Dora. 
Right, now. What's your surname again? You've got a good surname, haven't you? Androlia. That's, that's very... It's like you're Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> you know, it's very... Where, what is that, Italian? I well, like it. You sound good. I'm going to change my name to an Italian name. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm fed up with my surname. I am fed up with it. It's boring. Now. You're going to be Roy and Barioni, are you? Roy and Barioni. <laughs> Barioni. Ryan O'Baron is what your name should be. Have a look at what's coming up for you. Aren't they gorgeous though? Ah, they are. These are beautiful, aren't they? Deep London blue topaz. Oh, I love them. 1995. Absolutely blooming gorgeous. 1995 is not your price tag for these, sorry. That's for the toggle class. Why did I say it wasn't? No, not even that. No, no, whoa. Right. I'm such a sausage. Oh, yes, look at this. Oh, I love it. Right, do you macrame? Do you kumahimo? Do you plat? Do you do friendly bracelets? Friendship bracelets, not friendly bracelets. <laughs> Which bracelets? Friendly bracelets, bracelets that don't insult you. Uh, <laughs> and now I've got some Christmas colours in here. The wax cord, you've got the red and the green together. How wonderful is that? Oh, all these lovely colours. You've got all this wax cord. I do like these bundles. They feel amazing as well. And this is going to go ever such a long way. All these wonderful colours that you've got. And you're going to get some bright strands, two bright pink shell strands. I like these. They're making me want to sing, let's get physical. <laughs> you know, they're kind of, they kind of go for the run, go for a run in the 80s strands. I do like a run, especially if I'm wearing sweatbands and leg warmers. Do you know what I used to love doing? Getting my roller skates out, and I used to really go for it with the roller skates. There would be like, a beret, I'd really be 80s. Sweatbands, I was a funny kid, and leg warmers, and I'd be like skating everywhere. My mum had a wooden floor and I'd skate into the house. She used to go mad when I did that. <laughs> now, you've got all these cords. How many do I get in total? 10. So that's 100 meters. And then you've got your bright pink shell. Do I get two of the shell or one? I get two shell and I get all of this. Now you can do macrame with your wax cord. Of course you can plait it. You can do ever such a lot. You can do your crochet. You can knit with it. French knitting is great. There's loads that you can do with wax cord and it's been very, very popular. Gemma uses it for her wish bracelets. That's the thing that um, Gemma likes to do with hers. Now it's very strong actually. And it's one mil thick. EJG C38 is your item code. So ever such a lot of scope for your designs. Um, oh, you know, just those Japanese knotted, you could make, this could be feminine or masculine, actually. If, you, if you're thinking about making, uh, oh, gent shambhala bracelets with a black cord would be lovely, wouldn't it? I love this bright pink shell, it's so fun. And you know what, so many of us are jewelry making with the kids in the summer holidays, aren't we? Uh, it's quite hard to entertain those little blighters. Uh, are you ready? It, it, they can go outside, can't they? 13.95. This is an incredible deal because you are getting 100 metres of wax cord and two strands of gemstones. You've got all these wonderful colours. You've got the black, the yellow, the silver, the green, the gold, the blue, the copper, the red and the white. All one mil, all 10 metres each equals 100 metres. And your bright, bright pink shell long nuggets range between 11 by 4 at the smallest, 23 by 6 at the largest. Those are substantial little goodies aren't they they're gorgeous 13.95 that is a, an excellent price tag i love these brights it's a wonder deal it's an uber deal at that price tag an uber deal and fan tango now my little lovelies mica powders not mica powders it's not everybody's gonna love today love today Oh no, that's going to be in our head all day long, isn't it? All day long. Whoops, what happened to Mika? Is he still around? What? 
Grace Kelly, that song. And I used to go around just going, Grace Kelly, all day. <laughs> used to annoy, it, annoy me. Oh, all the soft pink, I love this. Mica powders are wonderful. And we are going to see, are we going to have a little demo on mica powders? Yes, we've already done them? some. That's what we're going to do. We can do some more mica powders. Yes, please. <laughs> We got the soft pink, the poppy, the teal, the copper and silver for you. And we're going to give you a wonderful price tag on all of these. They're lovely colours. Now, mica powder could be used as watercolours, paint yes. with a bit of water, obviously. Mica powders are wonderful to fit together with your jewel enamel. Mica powders can work in many different ways uh, with polymer clay. You can yes. use it with polymer clay. Mm -hmm. Where else can I use these, Liz? You can mix them in. You could use them like a pigment in anything. So if you wanted to use it with PVA glue, you could put a bit of mica powders in that as well. That and excites me. Obviously, I got a bit excited yeah. about that. Because <laughs> you get the shimmer with them. What um, about my glue gun? Uh, that's I, harder because the glue gun comes with pre-made sticks. Could I just gloop it out and then put the mica powder yes, on or not? Yes, yes. You that's can brush the mica powders on all... You know um, the dimensional glues of any sort? Um, you can brush them onto the sticky surface, tacky surface of those. I like this. <laughs> I like, I'm obsessed with glue gunning everything at the moment. <laughs> Anywhere where you've got, got the a Dremel glue gun. Oh, wow. brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> so I'll fix it. I've got a glue gun. <laughs> I feel like Superman in my house at the moment. The glue gun's like out all the time. Don't worry, it's fine. I've got a glue gun. <laughs> now, these are normally three ninety five each. So just under £20 for the bundle usually. But we're not going to give it you for that, my darling jewellery makers. What, darling? Oh, our graphics are doing something tricky. Oh, aren't they naughty? Now, mica powder. It doesn't smell of anything. I can just confirm that. I've just started yeah. a sniff of it. <laughs> You've got to smell everything, Laura. It's like the law. This can get you in trouble at times. <laughs> it can. You sometimes don't want to sniff things. Sometimes if you think that looks like it'll smell bad, it usually does. But if it looks like it'll smell good, go for it. Now, you have got these lovely, lovely colours. All these wonderful colours, do you see? That lovely poppy red. Perfect for your Christmas pieces. We're just waiting for our naughty little graphics. These will be great as paints then. Um, so, would you say, Liz, that these are an essential to your jewellery making? Yes, they are. Without a shadow of a doubt, um, I use them to colour the back of friendly plastic, particularly because, particularly with friendly plastic, you, you've got colour only on one side, so you have to do something about colouring the other side, whether that's with transfer foils or mica powders. And I love the look that mica powders provide. Me it's too. just such a lovely, soft, subtle, soft sheen. It is, isn't it? Yes, it's beautiful. Are you ready to try us out? We're going to give you a wonderful price tag. So they're normally three ninety-five each. They go ever such a long way. They do. They will last and last and last. So they should be just under £20 today. They're just under 13 at 12 95 I like that deal a lot. Liz likes that deal a lot. Would this make your life easier, Liz? Yeah, it would an awful lot. That is a fantastic deal. It is, isn't it? £12.95. Really yes. I do like it a lot. Now, there's lots of you buzzing around the phone lines, so let's just go on over to the gorgeous Liz and have a look at how exactly these wonderful mica powders work. Um, I just think I'll leave them over here because we've got so much on the desk. And we're also going to have a little bit of a sneaky peek, I believe, on the vase at some yes, point. Yes, well, we can combine the two things with mica powders and um, the lace work for the vase as well. And I'm trotting over. <laughs> what have you got there, a glass? Uh, yes, a glass that the lovely Laura provided me with oh, lovely, earlier yeah. on. And all I've been doing, because to do the lace work, well, yeah. I'll bring the vase over, then you can see that as well. You need something to work over the top to okay. do a, a vase or some or a structure like this. We move everything yeah, out of the way. Yeah, that's a brilliant plan. Um, and this bar, this uh, glass is nice and thick, so it's going to be perfect because I'm going to need to use the heat gun on the top of this. Okay, okay. Which so, it's got to be a heat-proof material. Yeah, that don't you're use something with. that's going to melt or be distorted. So by put it over plastic no. or anything like that. And anyway, it tends to stick to other plastics. Oh right, yes, of course okay. it would, wouldn't it? So what I need to do is create um, a linkage of friendly plastic strips first okay um, which is what I've been doing slowly while you've been um, talking about all the other lovely things Chit chatting yeah and all it is is just some strips of friendly plastic in hot water in random sort of shapes and sizes they can be you don't any, have to any... be too like no 
this is the wiggle factor built in. Okay, the wiggle factor. So, I do love the wiggle factor. <laughs> and then I'm just going to lay it on, and it's going to look quite messy at this point. Good, I like that. Like uh, Tony Hart. Yes. You never know where he's going, that man. <laughs> exactly. So we'll take these two, um, and you want to fill up your spaces a reasonable amount. I hope you can see and I'm honestly just wiggling it around if I'm making a vase I would uh, cover the whole of it with these wiggles all over so it's interlocking so it's not going to move okay. when I do the next thing this would be quite nice actually as a cup holder you know how uh, the Christmas table the goblets oh, that you yes. can make and things like yes. that yes you could do that around there because it will come off this obviously yeah, yeah yeah but what I need to do now is I'm going to show you how to do the lace work on here um, so I'm going to heat it with a heat gun so I, if I'm just going to move this out of the way slightly I'm Without just thinking there are water. so many things that this is going to be great for decorative yes. wise then Christmas table think about doing the bases of your candle and um, your centerpieces uh, what about I'm obsessed with napkin ring Ooh. holders because I'm not sure how I'm going to do that but this is a great one yes it's it really is and it's very quick that's the thing that 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 is a big plus yes. sign for yeah, me I've definitely. never got time to do anything <laughs> you okay. don't when you go kids are no, young though, you do don't you? at all and as they grow older you still don't because you spend all your time ferrying them around I know what is that and then when they go away they come back again and you they haven't don't got like time. getting on the bus these kids <laughs> do they and then <laughs> I sit and worry like oh I'm just gonna go and follow the bus and make sure they're you there don't. all right yeah I have done that yeah <laughs> he's soft dollop. I think my daughter's too <laughs> got no common sense though I keep thinking she doesn't know how to get home right okay so where okay. do we go I've got some kitchen oil cooking okay. oil regular oil Co yeah, is cooking it olive oil, oil or vegetable uh, oil it doesn't, doesn't matter it doesn't matter Whatever's in but cupboard. somebody's told me that because they try baby oil and it's a bit thin I think my baby oil must be ancient so it's quite thick oh okay, okay. so but Depends on the brand, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Stick with vegetable oil. Yeah, Stick vegetable oil is good. And then I've got an embossing tool, okay, which has got two ends to it. Vegetable of oil, uh, oil of vegetable <laughs> rather than of baby. Okay, so now I'm going to heat this um, with a heat gun. And you do this, you work this a little bit at a time. This is why it's so nice actually having a heat gun. This is where it really does win out. Am I all right to touch the glass or will it be too yeah, hot? Yeah, no, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm not going to, but I'm just... I'm going <laughs> to hold on to the glass. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> but this needs to be a bit soft now. And we'll soon find out how soft it is. You could, you'll, you'll see it sort of sag a little, although... It sort of sinks down. It and does. So let's just try that now. OK. A little bit of cooking oil. So what are you trying end. to do with the cooking oil? Uh, that just lubricates the um, embossing tool. Okay, so now gonna you're going to pull it in Ooh. and pull out. Oh, 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 okay. yes, yes. <laughs> now this was a technique I developed for working with textiles, so you've got um, holes to stitch into. Oh, how lovely. But it also works brilliantly with masks and um, making big vessels and things like that because it makes a little bit of plastic go a very long way. This is amazing. So you just keep linking it up. The whole point is to pull out some plastic and make it link up. And if you find you've got bits where it doesn't quite link, you can always add another little piece in. And in fact, if I just turn this around and we'll use a different shape. I've got a piece of um, copper in the hot water here. Oh, lovely. I'll just put that onto my hands. So you can use a, a, a proper shape if you want. So if I put that on there. A proper shape. Well, you're assuming you rather than just a shape. <laughs> yes, a sort of circular shape. I'm going to heat it again just to make sure that everything around it is tacky. Because you do need this to be soft. And the whole thing is you push the embossing tool down until it hits the glass before you start pulling out. Okay. Okay? Don't stroke the surface. or All you'll do is stroke off the, um, the foil on the top and you'll just be left with black. Can you see how it tends to slide around if yeah. it's not connected to things? And that's partly because there's also water underneath here. Okay. So another trick is when you've made your interconnecting links, slide it off the glass, dry it, and then pop it back on again, and then oh. heat. And then when you heat it again, it will stick to the glass. I love this. Isn't this so. beautiful? I love it. <laughs> and you I can really just want to, so to make a vase, it actually isn't difficult. No, with this one, um, obviously, How did you get it off? I s sliced it down that that slice oh, down there. Oh, and it came off around. Yes, it unpings um, basically. It's sort of quite flexible. Oh, and it's then really flexible. Then. I made a feature of the join. I love. Yeah, I love what so. you've done there. It's like. Um, it's like when the earth opens yes. up. <laughs> to make an actual feature of it. And that's all you do, and you can just keep building things up um, and, and carry on. It is on. Indiana Jones-esque, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so da, there you da, go. Da, so, da. so that's the beginnings. I mean, it doesn't and you just, just lift off. Yep, when it's done, it's, it's just a little bit warm. I just have to let that cool, and then you can just slide it off. To, all, um, all to aid the cooling, could I fill the glass up with ice? Yes, you could. And water. I have Maybe got some ice down idea. there. 
You have? Well, that's what no, I'm... you haven't. I have. This is this is not my lunch. This is ice. I have to bring ice in, otherwise nothing nothing stays cool. How funny. Okay. <laughs> She's actually got ice. <laughs> this is what I'm prepared. You are prepared. There's not that much left in there now, but... Um, you are a woman prepared. This is cold water. She is a woman mm. prepared. <laughs> there we go. All the ice gone. So no, I haven't do... got any for my water on oh, the way sorry, home. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> So that will cool we it down. We haven't got ice in this building, have we? Do you not have ice? Probably not. We've got no. a fridge and that's as far as it goes. Yeah. <laughs> so that would just so lift that just, off, yeah, that should it? now. It's just still a bit sticking on that side. I'm just going to hold it to one, one edge because it should cool it off a bit more I quickly. I just think this is amazing. Is it? Someone go to the supermarket, get Liz some uh, uh, ice. It's still sticking at the moment, yes. That's what I do need whenever I come is ice because ice. It, the, the water, the cold water, Gets warms warm. up. And yeah. it doesn't have the effect that I oh, need. Oh, I see. Let me just see whether We need come. ice. We need an ice dispenser in this building. Still needs cooling, because if you feel that, Jenny, can you feel that it's still a little warm? Yeah, yeah. And that's This just, side's cold. Yeah. And this side is loose from the... So you only want to remove it when it's cold. Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't... You can see it's... it's well, it'll it's, stick, won't it? It will stick and it'll start to pull away. So I'm just holding it at an angle to try and get that to loosen off. It's, I can feel that's really soft. Can you see that's still yeah, soft? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So sing or... Talk to me. No, you don't want me to do that. I'm just, I'll just tell you what I am going to do. Show everyone what you can make with oh, this amazium, amazing medium. Um, it has popped yeah, up? Yeah, it has. Oh! Are you ready? Oh, how lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing cuff bracelet that would make. Well, yes, if it wasn't quite such an angle, I suppose. <laughs> Mind you, yes, it could. But I think it, your arm is probably too small for Do you that. know what? That is beautiful. But, well, it's just the beginnings. That's just the beginnings of how I that did that. actually would make quite a good period costume cuff, yes. wouldn't it? It's fantastic for costume. Really is good. And it, because it's so light, you can make something that looks really heavy and metallic, um, but it's really, really light to really wear. Really light to yeah. wear. So I've made big headdresses and costumes with it and helmets wow. and all sorts of things, and they're light. Anyone who's got kids that you know they have to dress up for school, this would be amazing. Yes. And you know what my kids do? I forgot to give you the letter. Tomorrow, it's 8 o'clock at night, by the way, I'm going as a Roman yeah. goddess. What? <laughs> what is it? My kids, maybe, just my kids. <laughs> just think about how this works, not only in trinkets, but also in your jewellery making as well. Uh, the whole kit, 24 95 Now, do you love that London blue quartz I keep showing you? Let's get on over and give you the opportunity to buy it. Thank you so much. Amazing, as a always. Pleasure. Now, we're going to trot on over because that quartz is such a beautiful colour. You really, I, I love this so much. I, I've got quite a few London blue topaz pieces because I am a big fan of deep, rich colour. I love, I love my pastel colours, but deep, rich colour when you're going out is just lovely, isn't it? Now this will go with gold or silver. This is just such a stunning star cut that we're seeing. Now these will glimmer and glisten in earrings. They make wonderful charms, beautiful on the rosary chains. I think this is such a gorgeous strand. GHGP35 for your London blue blue coloured quartz, the faceted star cut rounds are sensational. Now Liz, I've seen that you've, you've been looking at this um, strand doughy eyed today because <laughs> if this is, and you said earlier, the, this is your kind of colour. Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the depth of the colour and I love the sparkle. Me too. It's just fantastic. Every time you look at each one, there's something more to see. I think, do you know, you're right, you've got the crackles in there, you've got the colour in there, you've got that lovely luster. Mm -hmm. Now just dropping from a bit of gold mm -hmm. on an earring, just one. Mm -hmm. Big impact, beautiful, off one of the um, amazing masks that you make. <laughs> what about along with the Labradorite? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that deep rich colour. Look at those wonderful, wonderful cuts. Aren't they stunning? Did you get that rose quartz? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now this strand, there are few, few and far between, aren't they? A colour that is pretty exclusive to us here at Jewellery Maker. A colour that we don't see often. We've had, what, three strands of this colour ever? Just beautiful. Very popular. This one, I think, will sell out. You need to be on the phone lines quickly. You know what? Usually strands like this would set you back, what, about 14 95 It's not going to today. Beady beads, yes. 
Earrings, yes. Debbie Belford star tassels, absolutely. Tiaras and fascinators, absolutely. Bridesmaids would love this. Brides would love this. Deep, rich blue. There's your something blue right there. And if you're having a winter wedding, rich colours are key. Look at the clarity. Look at the colour. Not often we see rich, deep colour with wonderful clarity, is it? Look at those facets. The luster is wonderful. GHG, P35 is your item code. 110 carats going under £15 at 9.95. That's the price tag we like, isn't it? Eight mil by seven mil. How are they eight mil by seven mil? They're round. <laughs> I don't know either. Look, they're gorgeous. I don't know who put that. Can I, I tell you what, I'll measure them because that's just crazy. Maybe it's from point to point and then flat to flat. Could be from point to point actually, because they're... Could you incorporate these gemstones into your friendly plastic easily? Uh, I certainly would. I would. Uh, they would just look gorgeous with it. Are you offering me that strand then? <laughs> uh, listen, whatever I offer you, we're not going to say live on air. I might give you the old. <laughs> uh, I just measured them at eight mil uh, to spew <laughs> your information. But these are gemstones that are right up your street, aren't they? These they are. are gemstones that you love to look at uh, and incorporate in your jewellery because they make a big impact. And I can see from the pieces that you've made, you're all about the big impact. Yes, yes. I'm not desperately subtle. <laughs> No, neither am I, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. Desperately subtle, never. Uh, we'll leave that to the lovely, gorgeous waifs that go along yes. with more graceful yes. without needing to go, hiya, uh, I'm, there with, I'm there with you, Liz. 9.95, these will look amazing with gold. They're very Egyptian in this deep blue. So I think they'd look great with turquoise. They would. I think they'd look great with lapis lazuli. They would, yes. There are big cues on the lines for this one. How long are they, Lawsy Dawsy, Laura Lasagna? <laughs> Laura Spaghetti. Other Italian dishes are available. You know, yeah, you, she thinks that's funny, by the way, in case people think I'm insulting her, I'm doing it because <laughs> everybody else calls her Laura Lasagna. Uh, uh, <laughs> 9 You, I love lasagna, but it's too filling. It's too filling. I prefer spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, but I've, I've given up carbs too much, so I'm having spaghetti on a bed of rocket instead lately. Because we, as a family, <laughs> do eat spaghetti about three times a week because it's the only thing my other half can cook. So when I'm not there, they are eating spaghetti. <laughs> like three or four times a week with everything. What are you eating today? It's a bolognese sandwich. <laughs> 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 I'm laughing and I'm about to say not really, but really, <laughs> that does happen, really. What are you eating, Mia? Oh, it's a, it's a wrap with um, some lettuce and some bolognese, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and some cheese. Uh, they do this in Mexico, mummy, okay. Or, or, or it'll be, what are you eating now? Chili. It's last night's bolognese with a bit of kidney bean in it. <laughs> <laughs> but when I cook, everything's always chicken. Uh, chicken, what are you eating? Chicken, roast chicken, roast chicken, let's have roast chicken, always. Or a salad, let's have a big salad. Mm, that's me, I love yeah, salad. Yeah, I love <laughs> a big salad. Anyway, let's, you've had enough of salad. Ryan's like, oh, I'm so over salad. We've turned our oven off now for the summer, so everything's got to be barbecued. So I have demanded a rotisserie for my barbecue. That's what I want. I haven't got it yet. Now, now. You want some broccoli, Ryan? You can have broccoli in a salad. You can cook it first. Yeah, Marks and Spencers, other places are um, available. Do lovely broccoli, green beans and broad beans. Shake it all up. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, have it on the side. Bit of hummus, lovely. <laughs> what is it like in your broccoli salad eating world? <laughs> is what Ryan Josh just said to me. <laughs> listen, just because you're in, listen, you can mix things. Do you know what they're doing in Marks and Spencers? Other supermarkets are available at the moment, such as Waitrose and Sainsbury's. They're putting pansies in their salads. <laughs> marigolds as well. Marigolds? And I've not eaten the marigolds. Yes, marigold petals and uh, nasturtiums. That is happening. It's happening. Flowers are going... We are eating flowers. That's what's happening. Why not? Exactly. As long as it's not some poisonous one, though. <laughs> well, check, yeah, don't be going eating ragwort, because that's poisonous. <laughs> yes, or laburnum. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want poison. So, in fact, just go to the supermarket, let them do the poisonous research for you. <laughs> Have a look. 
The sort of thing I'd do as a child to check if something was poisonous is just to eat it. Yes. Well, that's a silly thing to do. <laughs> I caught my children eating. I told them a million times those are not plums, they're walnuts. They've got big cases on them. Don't eat them. Not ready till September. What are you doing, Max, in your den? I'm just trying these plums. They're walnuts. <laughs> Seven times I've told you they're walnuts, so you're now going to be sick. What else have you eaten? A pile of unripened gooseberries you'd eaten oh, the other day, <laughs> and a load of cherries. I'm like, listen, there is food in the fridge. There is. Yeah, it's because he was pretending that he was deserted in his den. And oh. He had to feed himself. Well, it's my dog that's been eating our gooseberries. Your dog's been eating your gooseberries? Yes. <laughs> she nibbles them off the bush. Yeah, and the raspberries, and you can tell. What kind of dog have yeah. you got? She's a cocker spaniel. I love cocker spaniels. <laughs> I'll tell you what, tell that spaniel to leave your gooseberry bush alone. <laughs> They're it all is in a gooseberry bush. <laughs> it is a gooseberry bush. It's a gooseberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> just having these youngsters in the studio, this is what the trouble is. <laughs> the slightest word sets them all off. Yes. I tell you. And it, sometimes it can be quite encouraging. It's okay. terrible. You can't just call it a plant, it is a bush. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Like I, the other day, I said to everybody, I'm so excited because my fuchsia bush is out. Yeah. And they just didn't stop laughing. I was like, what is funny about that? Quite. <laughs> Once you get past 30, you are excited by the flowers in your garden, yeah. aren't you, Ollie? <laughs> 30, you, you, what does that mean that you, that doesn't? I do. No, I grew veg. I like growing veg. I'm flat with that. You're not about the flower growing. You're about your. You like a marrow. I like a marrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps need to raise the tone of this a little. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to uh, to the matters in hand. I can't get my plums sorted. But... You can't get your plums. No, leave it. Leave it, Ollie. <laughs> By the way, I'm good with plums. If you want to, uh, we can talk about it later. <laughs> Cherries and plums are something I do well. <laughs> Laura, control <laughs> us. That's your job. Come out here and crack the whip. <laughs> now, you have got a luxury duo of... A a is this... A this is... This, this is aquamarine, the big... Look how close they are in colour. Very, very 1920s, aren't they? Are they beautiful? They are beautiful. Top drilled, gorgeous. Mm. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Now, <laughs> this strand of chalcedony, I've seen a lot, and I do want to just re-strand it into a necklace. I think that would just be fabulous to do. I, I love these big aquamarines. Aquamarine is such a wonderful gemstone. Of course, strong rumours um, that this is going to be the, uh, uh, dubbed a precious gemstone soon, aquamarine. So it's going to become, I and mean, those, those rumours are strong rumours. Um, it's very likely that that's going to happen. And um, Hannah Oxbury said, when that happens, it's going to be more expensive for me to get, and then it's going to be more expensive for everybody else to get. You need to get it now, because you, have you got it all in your stash now? We, we do wonderful prices on Aquamarine, and I think that this is a wonderful, wonderful price for both of these. Now, Aquamarine, how much should we sp be spending on our Aquamarine? 30, 40 pounds? It's a wonderful gemstone, but we're not going to charge you that much. You get two strands. For nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence, an unbelievable deal. You'd pay that just for the aquamarine alone. Very Art Deco. Actually, I think that's a great price for the aquamarine. I'm going to count those aquamarine because they could be uh, set into rings. Could they? Could be earrings. They're mirror graduated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of them. Sixteen at nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six double five is the number that you're looking for. LFG. C50 is your item code, a big carrot weight, lots and lots of these together. They're all on the lines, there is a queue, please bear with it. It's a great price, great duo, wonderful, soft, subtle colours at just 19 95 Look at that. You'd definitely put these together, wouldn't you? Liz, do you think it's wonderful to have the opportunity to work with gemstones like aquamarine oh most definitely yes until i came to jewelry maker i didn't really get the opportunity to to work with proper where gemstones. else would you buy them exactly so uh, and they're just so lovely and they're always so different and um i never know quite what i'm going to make until i have those gemstones in my hand in hand yes. you've got them there yeah. 
I just think it's gorgeous. <laughs> Nineteen ninety-five. Now, Laura Dora from Manura. Where are we gonna go? Let's do something gorgeous. I'm gonna do some coral. Ethically sourced coral, real coral. Have a look. And you get all those wonderful colours. Can you see? Mix them with gold. Look at that red. Now this is definitely a striking Christmas time red. And it's hard, isn't it, Liz, to get that in a gem. So we do often sell out over and over and over again of red gems. Yes, you can see it in glass, but not in gemstones. Exactly, and we, we don't want glass all the time because it's not much, it's not very romantic glass. No, and they're often too uniform. That's oh yes, the other that's thing. The, yeah, that is yeah. a good point actually. Red and blue together is glorious. Mm -hmm. I love that combination. And now, oh, the red. This is very patriotic, <laughs> darling. Red, white, and blue. These could be Christmassy. These could be summery. These are definitely coral Britannia. Is that what you just said? <laughs> that was terrible. She went coral Britannia. <laughs> really? Okay. Now, um, gosh. These are gorgeous colours together. The shell I would use as rings, stud earrings look great. Do you remember the 80s when the big stud earrings were in? Yes, I love yes. that look. I love yes. it. Power women, that's when power women, such as, you know, uh, Jackie Collins and Joan Collins <laughs> with their earrings they were. I wanted to pads. be Joan Collins. I think she's amazing. <laughs> um, look, look at these. Look at the blue, look at that clarity. Isn't it fabulous? Isn't it gorgeous? QHG, darlings, C60, a trio of power, mm -hmm. a trio of gorgeous colours. And you know what? It's definitely a power trio, isn't it? They make you feel powerful, these colours. They're gorgeous together, absolutely beautiful. And of course, if we are being patriotic, that gorgeous little baby George. <laughs> oh, what a good name. What a good name. I like yes. that name. George is a great name. It is a good name. Very traditional. Yeah, nice name. Max's name. middle yeah. name. My brother's yeah. name. And my grandfather's name. My cousin's so name as well, yes. We all know a George. Yeah. We, I've never met a George I didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> never met a George I didn't like. Except for perhaps Georgie Porgy Pudding and Pie. He kissed the girls and made them cry. Yes. I wouldn't have been crying. <laughs> I'd have been kissing him right back. <laughs> QHG, your C60 is your item code. A power duo for £12. You've got coral. You've got this beautiful blue quartz, which is faceted just beautiful. It's so stunning. £12.95. A 30-day money-back guarantee on everything that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker. QHG, C60 is your item code, £12.95. Well done to everybody that's got theirs. It's fabulous to have your company here at Jewelry Maker today. How wonderful is this? Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. Love it. Now, Laura Dora from Manura. We're going to give to you, oh, beautiful blues. Now, these are very sea-like. Have a look. See, oh, look at this labradorite. Is it labradorite? No, it's not. It's, it's, it's um, quartz. It's rutile quartz. I thought that was labradorite, first of all. What a gorgeous strand. I've never seen this before. Have you seen this before? Oh. Did you think that was labradorite? It's black rutile quartz, isn't it? It's gorgeous. First glance, it looks like labradorite. Look, look. Oh, those are great together. And then the blue. Oh, I like it. Let's blend them. Let's twist them. Black rutile quartz is from the collector's choice. They are rough nuggets. I've never seen those before. I really like those a lot. Little tiny spots of tourmaline, black tourmaline inside, giving us this wonderful, and what a wonderful colour. It's got that, it's got the grey colour of, um, of Labrador, yes, hasn't it? Yes, it has. It it's makes me think of little leopards, actually, with the little spots in there. That's exactly <laughs> what I was just about to say, leopard <laughs> spots. Yeah. There's lovely little spots in there. They're gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? KXGC55 is your item code. C Goddess 0800 6 on the w's.jurymaker.com. We're going to give you a great price tag for these. The rounds are blue 
Angelite. Angelite's quite expensive usually, they're 8 mil. Your green amethyst graduated at a regular square is 4x1 to 6x2 on a 20 centimetre strand. You've got a collector's choice black retail quartz rough nugget strand 3 by 2 to 5 by 3 an 18 centimeter strand a 30 day money back guarantee on absolutely everything that you buy from us here at jewelry maker are you ready for a wonderful deal three strands isn't that the price tag we've seen angel like for before three strands for 12 pounds and 95 pence an amazing price tag for you isn't that wonderful Look at that colour. I love colours like this though, do you? I just think they're wonderful. I just think they're so pretty and so subtle together. Very oh. sea goddess-like, which is good because that's what this uh, bundle's called, the sea goddess bundle. KXG C55. Well done to all. Now, I'm gonna get, just remind you of that beautiful rose quartz because I think it will go wonderfully. So got a few of those left, have we, Laws? Just a few of those. Now remember that cheeky kit we did? How many of those have we got left? With the silver findings that you did for under £20, you cheeky little nana. We haven't got a lot left. We're approaching single figures on that one. Look, how gorgeous that rose quartz together with that. So pretty, isn't it? Now, bottom of your screen, that rose quartz. Now you might want some more rose quartz to go with your rose quartz. Have a rose quartz party. Now, these, if Alan Fox is watching, here you go, Alan Fox, here's your picket fence for um, Gemstone Village that I want you to make. Don't you think this is like a picket fence? <laughs> they're called, they're described as pencils, which is cute because I think, actually, they'd, be, they'd have been really cute for anyone uh, who was leaving school to make some for their teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Pencil earrings would have been cute, wouldn't they? You've got two strands of the pencils. Now they're top drilled. It's lovely to work with a different shape. Where would you put these shapes, Liz? Well, I think they'd, they'd actually make a really nice, they would make a really nice necklace, but also lovely little earrings. Because they're think. spiky, aren't they? they? Are, yes. And spike is in at the moment. But you could do them on a, a bracelet too and have them going either way with yeah. something down the centre. Something. You could do like a macrame or a chambalari yes. style, flatten it out and make them yes. go up and down. Now I love a marquise. These are perfect. Of course they're flowers. Of course they're leaves. If you bought the felt yesterday and you saw Gemma making the flowers, how wonderful would it be to have rose quartz leaves on those flowers? Aren't they beautiful? They're top drawer, very easy to make a circle out of those. Uh, just a bit of monofilament and a knot is all that you're gonna need. 280 carats in the marquees, they're 35 by 15. Two strands of the rose quartz pencils, 16 by seven. And you get 25 on each strand, so that's 50 in total, 25 pairs of earrings. Now for rose quartz in your collection, again you've got a gemstone that your customers are very familiar with. You've got a gemstone that is friendly, it's feminine, it's beautiful and it's soft. Get yourself involved, 0800 GWG C57 is your item code. We're gonna give you a great price. Seven, anywhere under £20 is exceptional for three gorgeous, substantial feature strands of rose quartz. £17.95. Now, we've been doing some very cheeky things today. We've got pearls in your next kit that would go so well with the rose quartz. Look at the size of these pearls. Now, it's not often we see pearls as beautiful and as perfect and as white as these. They're coming up in your next kit. Now, um, Laura's told me about 20 times in my ear, it's limited edition. It's limited edition. Now, literally, I cannot stress enough, the next kit I'm about to give you is uber limited. Hardly any were put together. It's called Pure Elegant. All right, this is our luxury kit of the day so far. Now, I'm talking to you about pearls that we don't often see here at Jewelry Maker, and when we do, they sell out very quickly. I want you to just take note, these aren't potato pearls, these are beautiful pearls that are very well size matched, and they are so stunning and so classic in their colour. Can you see that? They're just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely breathtaking. 
that color is exactly what you want in a pearl. Now, I am a massive fan of the classic pearl. They are such a breath, breath of fresh air, but they are so classic at the same time. They are so vintage. They are so expensive looking pearls. I'm not just gonna give you one strand of pearls. I'm gonna give you a strand of Keshi pearls too. So this is uber bridal. What do you think you would pay for these alone? Somewhere close to 25 pounds? Pearl strands like this tend to be just a little bit over 20 pounds, don't they? They are our more expensive pearls. Labradorite, that is faceted. Now there's a lot of blue in this strand. In fact, this doesn't look like a strand of gray. It looks like a strand of a blue gemstone. Have a look. Have a look at this. Wonderful, wonderful striking quality that you're getting from this exceptional strand of Labradorite together with the pearls. And then I'm going to just add oh my gosh you've got sapphire you've got these are sapphire blue sapphire wow deep blue sapphire i'm not even done this kit is amazing <laughs> You've got Moonstone. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Now you've also got your findings, of course. You've got 98 findings, you've got your beading pack in there as well. Now these gemstones are all uber high end. You have got a lot, what, what would you pay for all of these? About 50 quid? For the, now we've only got 40 of these kits, that, if only 40 were ever made. I do think that these are most certainly for you. If you're buying jewellery from us to create into bridal pieces, this is absolutely a bridal bundle. It's called Pure Elegance and you're going to love it. You've got sapphires, you've got pearls, two strands of Labradorite and Rainbow Moonstone, a limited edition kit for £28.95. You have got yourself a deal and a half. Liz, do you think that's great value uh, for money? I think it's fantastic value. It really is. They, you just, there's so many possibilities with that beautiful kit. And if you had one of the other kits as well to add to it, I can just see so many combinations. Gemma Crow's trying to mouth something to me about this kit. I don't know what it is. What are you saying, Gemma Crow? You love it? I'm crazy? Something's crazy. The yeah. price is crazy. This is... This is amazing. <laughs> I don't know. It's like charades. I don't know what she's saying. This is crazy, is what she's saying. I know it's crazy. It's crazy. $28.95. Under £30 for the gemstones alone is amazing. The pearls, the moonstone, the labradorite. A double strand of sapphire. That's what she's saying is crazy. A double strand of... She's crazy. $28.95. Amazing, amazing price tag. Just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's take a look at Sue's jewellery ever so quickly. As if those pearl earrings aren't being stolen. They're gorgeous. <laughs> they are gorgeous. Love this. Timeless. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely timeless. I love a pair of pearl earrings. You'd sell those for £20 on their oh, own. Yes. Yeah, they're just oh. beautiful. Let me give you a recap. People are asking about toggle class. Are they still available? Yes, my darlings, they are. We gave you a trade show deal on the toggle clasps. You've got 100 pairs, 100 pairs of toggle clasps. Wowzers. Now, these aren't just toggle clasps as we know them. They are also great for making your cufflinks. They're great for earrings. You get, these are all e-coated, by the way. Um, so e-coating, it makes your findings hypoallergenic. So if you want to put them anywhere else, that's fine. Um, hypoallergenic, and it also prevents the silver from tarnishing. Copper with a, a genuine coating, a big, thick um, plating of sterling silver. Then e-coated, and e-coating is important, isn't it, Liz? If you're sensitive to any, anything, mm -hmm. and I certainly have sensitivities to a lot of metals, so... Prevents oxidisation as well. Mm -hmm. I think we should eco everything. <laughs> this is just fabulous. Now we're giving you 100 pairs. 100 pairs. I know it says 100 pieces. There's 100 pairs of toggle clasps here. Uh, this is going to be an absolute uber deal. This is a trade deal. Now Liz was speaking to us earlier, and she said that if you went to that big craft store... 
you know, the one with craft at the end of the name, big, big store in most sort of industrial estates that have got shops in them. Um, I go there, I do, because you do need to buy lots of things for kids when they do homework. Um, two for a pound would be a good deal, says, uh, says Liz, which means I'd be paying 50 quid, <laughs> which is all right, but it's not good. It's not all right, actually. I don't want to spend money I don't have to spend because mm. I could spend that money on shoes or mm. cake or chocolate <laughs> or going to the cinema or something else nice <laughs> like a roast beef sandwich. Now we are going to give to you a bolognese sandwich. They're ten a penny at my house. <laughs> Ryan Josh went, a bolognese sandwich. No. JLG, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with a bolognese sandwich. You don't need butter on it, Laura. <laughs> Bolognese. <laughs> I just wrap it up. Just wrap it up like a burrito. See, now you're saying yum. Burritos are good for you. Burritos are good. Uh, now, anyway, I, I don't know why I'm American when I'm eating burritos because they're Mexican. Now, they're Mexican food. They're good. Are you ready? Anyway, 100 pairs. We're going to give you a trade deal on this 100 pairs for just £19.95. That's about 20p a pair, not £2 for a pair, 20p for a pair. Like that price? Mm -hmm. A lot. Mm. Now don't forget to check out Baskets right now because if you bought that friendly plastic, we're giving you a deal that incorporated that fabulous DVD as well. I am uber excited about friendly plastic. It is, of course, the uh, summer holidays. It's ever so friendly, that plastic, ever so friendly. Now, I'm gonna give to you, let me, Ed's very busy today, aren't you, Ed? He's bustling around. It is the summer holidays. We're all busier in the summer holidays. <laughs> for, for whatever reason. Me, because I've got kids. Other people, because they can't get places because kids are there. The queues are everywhere. Yes. They start, don't they? <laughs> queues start. Queues start. Now, my daughter announced to me that on Monday she's going to the London Dungeons to the, yesterday. I was like, who are you going there with? My friend. They just decided the dad's taking I was like, but I want to go. But I can't, because I'm here. But that's fine. Is it scary, the London Dungeons, do you think? For young kids, I think it I is. Go. Yes, for young ones it is. But it depends on your disposition, I'd say. It's a long oh, time since. Oh, listen, my <laughs> son loves blood and yeah. guts and things. He's obsessed with horrible histories, and when they start cutting people's heads off, all the better. <laughs> now, let's give you a recap on our friendly plastic. We've had amazing stuff today. I love today. Oh, I love the clay, I love today, and I love the clay. Now, <laughs> oh yes, it smells amazing. This is fabulous stuff. And it'll dry out so you can make beads out of this. And they look yes. a little bit like lava rock when they finish, Yes, they do. They? You can be quite smooth and you can paint it as well. Can you? Yes, and you can brush on mica powders I was going to well. say, can I paint it with mica powders? Um, the mica powders. Just brush them on. Brush them on when, it, when it's still soft. Um, once they're hard, then you need to paint it with an <coughs> acrylic paint. Okay, so you've got that. This is great stuff. It's really... Okay, that, <laughs> that could happen too. Um, now, you've got ten colours. In, now, this goes such a long way. Yes. Such a long way. We've seen some of the most amazing pieces made, of course, by the uber-talented Liz. Don't forget, Angela will be doing a one-on-one -on, -one on Facebook with you today at I think two o'clock two till three and that's just to go through a few of the questions that you had on last night's show here we go there's no waste with friendly plastic either because you recycle and reuse everything no waste recycling everything so, and that's so important and it's very low cost yes anodized aluminium at two o'clock yeah <laughs> That's with uh, Cherry. Who's doing it? You, Ed. Are you doing it, Ed? Oh, Sarah. I haven't met Sarah. I'm going to go and give her a hug. Jenny. That'll scare her. That. So I'm talking to you about a very low cost, new way 
of replenishing, uh, giving yourself a new genre in your jewelry making. It's not just about jewelry making, is it? Liz has been a fantastic today at showing you how many other amazing ways <laughs> you can get this amazing stuff into your life. It is beautiful, it's brilliant. I'm a massive fan. It's my favorite, 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 favorite thing uh, together with the felt, which is also my favorite thing. <laughs> $24.95, fusion your felt together with your friendly plastic. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful brand new medium. I am just six double four six double five can I just take this over to Liz because I want to show you what you can make again if you've just tuned in you need this in your life very very quickly um, <laughs> the mask that you've made blows my mind now Gemma Crow um, tells me every time that Liz you are um, you are the person she looks to for inspiration that is you really are her David Bowie <laughs> look I should look spike at this. my hair then I reckon you should you should actually yeah. yes it's true <laughs> just look at what Liz makes she's an amazing woman Look at this, we've been going through ever such a lot. Not just jewellery, no, but all sorts of different all things. Sorts of things. And, and I you think can use it practically as well. I mended my kitchen bin with it. You little... <laughs> I'm gonna f I will, we'll do a DIY show with them. With, look at these little books, aren't they amazing? They're like spell books. For anyone who loves reading Harry Potter. Oh, yes, Oh, my absolutely. kids love that book. <laughs> they love the film as well, but it's nicer to read the book, isn't it? <laughs> and, and it keeps them quieter. Have a look. Trinket boxes putting it together with your paper crafts, a little make-a-wish book here. Isn't that lovely? Bangles, of course, jewellery. <laughs> Bangles. Look at this little decorative. That would look good in a girl's bedroom, wouldn't it? It was it? just a bit of fun. For a, I was teaching a 3D friendly plastic and textile course, so that was just one of the things for that. Just it would look amazing to hanging from your stool. Yes. It would look great. Look at this. Together with your felt from yesterday. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Just fabulous. I love the stuff. I think it's great. So well done to everybody that got theirs. $24.95. That includes the step-by-step -step DVD. How many projects have we got on that DVD? Oh my goodness. I think there's six. six. There's probably, I can't remember. It's at a long least time six. ago. At and as I six. don't have a copy of it, I can't remember. You need a copy of your I own do. DVD. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so last time we um, gave you the Friendly Plastic Starter Kit, it didn't have the DVD, it was $24.95. Today we're going to honour that price tag, but we're going to put the DVD in for you too. At $24.95, Wonderful deal. Masterclass with cherry. Anodized aluminium is something yeah. else I love. You love anodized yeah, aluminium. I did this, did, did this with cherry on um, Tuesday, which is uh, just... Did you come to Cherry's workshop? I did. I, I was very, very fortunate. It's just a lovely... And I made the earrings as well. And the little bracelet I put over there for you. So you so. need to <laughs> stay where you are because cherry and anodized aluminium Fantastic. is happening here it's, soon. It's really exciting stuff actually. It and is great really, fun. I love it and again something different and, and get contemporary. Very contemporary which I think is really nice. You know, we have the timeless elegance of beautiful stones and things but you can do something really. Let's source it up a bit. Yeah. Let's get modern. <laughs> Let's modernize ourselves <laughs> and you can do that in so many ways. It's been amazing having your company here today. Thank you so much. Now please check out any unchecked baskets. If you're watching in the repeats, fingers crossed for you that there is some of this yeah. left there. at the moment there are a few left in the friendly plastic uh, we'll see Liz very soon uh, don't forget to tune in live at five o'clock but stay where you are because at two o'clock it's cherry we'll see you later bye Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. 
with round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills.